Ninja from there. I'm, I'm an hour behind you, man. Yeah, we got it over here. Yeah, man. Yeah, so... We'll do this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up, and I'm also gonna pull up the up the, the chat quick just so I, so I can kind of see see what's going on. I feel like every, everybody's gonna be out by my mic microphone, but that's okay. there. We go. So, uh, but yeah, my name is Danny Tillinger. Uh, I've been collecting for three going on four years. Oh yeah. Oh oh man. Oh man. Ready to jump. Oh, I see where you are now. Okay, I'm watching it right now. I see stream. Hey, there's, there's seven, seven in there. <laughs> that would be amazing. I highly doubt it. I don't know why, but what's going on. Huh? Let's see a couple of people pouring in. Good. Yeah. That'll work. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, a couple, couple, couple hundred. So. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. I think con consistency. I think I think consistency always wins, man. <laughs> yeah, you're a beast. You're a beast. <laughs> I've, I've, I've noticed the last month. Month you've seen probably like thirty videos at least, if not more, in the last month. <laughs> Let me just say this. Yo, Pop Collector 101, stay in the chat. Um, I'm sending out those uh, Deadpool 13s. You had a couple of them, so you don't win on that. Um, I guess we'll just go live then. Let's just do it up. What's crack a lack of hammerheads? That's not the hammer. I'm the hammer. The hammer's in the house. We got Danny Killinger in the house as well. He's doing a live stream with us. He's one of the few people that I have met in the community that I actually can relate to when it comes to collecting because he doesn't collect just Funko Pops. He collects high-end stuff. He buys uh, some high-end stuff. I do want to warn you, we're having some mic issues on one of our ends. And it sounds like it's a little, like a little doubling. 
You gotta have to do with it. What's going on, Lady Draco? What's going on, Lee, uh, VVGS? What's going on, Louder? Ryan, VVGS, Jacob Luna, Punky says hi. We'll get that out of the way first. But we got our boy Danny on. He got a nice little clean room. If I had that room, we already know that thing would be upside down with pops out and toys everywhere filled with just empty boxes. <sighs> I'm liking your little setup, Danny. Um, how did you, uh, how did you, let me get to this question first. Because I need to, I need to run this by the girlfriend because when we get a place. Did you, like, start dating, I don't know if you're married, are you married? Uh, might as well be. Four years in relationship. All right, four years in relationship. That means you got a girlfriend. So you live with her? Yep, of course. And did she know that you're gonna get a toy room first? She knew in this house, but I started collecting while we, while we lived in a one room apartment. Yeah. Like, set up. <laughs> My man. My man. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, when you guys went house hunting, um, you guys are renting, right? Uh, so 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 just, yeah, we just purchased just a house on New Year's Day. Day. Oh, that's so. pretty cool. That sucks for that real estate agent, but <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all pumped and excited to get up in the morning. She's like, God damn it, I gotta go to work. Yeah, we yeah, it was the thirty first of December, which was crazy. Oh man, that's cool. That was this year? Yeah, this year. Three months three months ago. <sighs> Let me look over to the girlfriend. <laughs> We strategically bought this house. Like, uh, I have a house uh, house tour video. If you go back and watch one of my videos, you see what I'm already dreaming of my house. And now I'm kind of, I'm in the final stages. Like, I'm like, I'm finally locking everything. I'm putting all the fi finishing touches on everything. So. Wow, I don't think those words have ever even uh, touched my lips. The finishing touches. Like, everybody knows I collect like a mother flocker. And when it comes to these. Funko Pops or uh, Nano Droids, Hot Toys, it's never ending story. I can rearrange and reclean the, every shelf that we have in the house every single day. I'm ready to take out another shelf, put another screen up. I'm ready shopping on Facebook for another TV to use. You know, I need a 20 inch TV to go for like $25. I go over in the hood oh, over yeah. there, I grab one, I'll put it up real quick. The damn freaking stand will cost more than the actual TV. So. <laughs> Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, what do you do for a living? I don't really know anything about you. I just know we did a trade for the Mezco, and I traded some Dragon Ball Z pops that was a must-have for you. So, uh, uh, actually, the 20th ranked boxer in the world. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, um, I'm a talent develop development manager. I work for a, a, a transportation company. So that's, so that's what I do through Friday. I've got an 8 to 5. I went to corporate life. Before that, I did about 10 years of retail business, and on, on the side, I like to do YouTube, Instagram, and I'm into toy toy photography. So, uh, um, if you watch my videos, um, I'm trying to do like drone shots and, and cut scenes and adding really good music and stuff like that. So, that's kind of what I'm interested in right now. So, my hobby has always been um, collecting, collecting toys growing up as a kid, kid, and it's moved into into like a full time hobby, as, as you can behind me. Yeah, that's nice. And, um, so you, you basically grinded out your entire life, right? You did the little retail bullshit. I bought back and bought 10. Sucks. Yeah. Yep. You grind out and you get where you got. So, uh, congratulations on that. Graduation on your home. Um, someone already commented, I like the floor has carpet in case all your figures fall on the floor. I don't know. This guy's a neat freak. He might have them things like, those things ain't going nowhere. Over here, you sneeze. These things are falling. Oh yeah, yeah. So the the trick to that that is you gotta latch them into the wall. To the wall. So I have drive drywall, and I just find us and us behind the wall, and then I, that's where I'm putting them in my drill. So you so. actually did what it says on the damn instructions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like literally, literally. This is stuff. ridiculous. Who does that? It <laughs> says in every one of them. Even these detolf shelves attach them to the wall. I go get the flock out of here. I throw them away. Now I kind of want to attach them to the walls. Do you guys at yeah. home do that? Do you guys actually attach any of your stands, TV stands, uh, your dressing stands, your display stands? I never did it. I know you're supposed to. I don't even attach the TV to the wall. I just put the regular screw in like, eh, that's good enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Professionalism at its Keeps best. It from uh, shaking from the vibrations when you walk to the room. It, it literally limits the amount of shaking. And like, like especially with big yards, you know, because if you don't have those things on, on stands, 
they just fall, fall over. Uh, the easiest, like, I mean, you could be breathing and it fall over. Uh, the, those SH figure watch, right? Yep. yep. I just got these new stands. Check these motherfuckers out. Watch this. Whoa, look, I'm holding this thing with one hand. Oh, yeah, Check yeah. out those these stands. Yeah, those are my, my favorite, dude. You had to put them, to, them together, right? They come in pieces. Yeah, I just yep, yep. found out about these. Oh, my God, toy for... Uh, Toy uh, photography is taken to a next level with these. Because, you know, you get those stupid GameStop ones or the ones that they sell. Those things are the worst. Oh, yeah. These yeah, they're, they're cheap. are the best, as, as I mess it up. But, <laughs> oh, man, you're right about yeah. that. What do you do with your like drone the, shots? Uh, so, like, what am I doing or, or where am I going with them? Are you doing, like, drone shots of your figures? Uh, I'm gonna figure out a way to get it into drone shooting with like like action figure and stuff. Um, there's a lot of setting settings because I use a DJI, DJI, uh, DJI Mavic Air. Mavic Air. Yeah, it's the best so one. There's a lot, there's a lot of auto, There's a lot of automatic settings that I can set. So, um, I'm thinking if I go to a scenic area, maybe like clip shot, and bring some hot toys with me. You could do a pano where the drone could slowly in in and a cinematic okay. recording of the, the the figure. That would be pretty cool. So, yeah. And then if you, and if you add in, you know, like uh, 120 uh, frames per second, so do a slow motion picture while it's kind of like flying by, and maybe set, set off like sort of firework or some sort of, um, you know, play in the background, kind of like it's like a bomb bomb going off or something. That would be pretty pretty cool. So, See, I, I, I'm testing things out, but I'm but I'm nervous to do it with Hot Toys toys. <laughs> that makes sense. I like your style though, because like if me and you work together, I like listen. I'll come up with the quick ideas. You want to do all that detail stuff? We do perfect. Because I hate doing all the detail stuff. Like if I'm doing an unboxing video, I'm like, shoot, record, and recording. On to the next one. Blah, 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 blah. Look, here's a $500 figure. Blah, 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 blah. Here's a $200 figure. Blah, 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 blah. Here's a Funko Pop. Blah, 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 blah. I, wish you, I, I guess I kind of need less toys so I can put more effort into a video. Uh, how many videos do you have on your channel now? Uh, I think I'm up, up to 20 to 24. 24 videos. And you have two to three hundred subscribers, yep. which is nice. And you're taking it to the level that you're you're at. You're a grown adult. You know what you want to see, and you're gonna be able to give somebody uh, the same kind of interest that you're putting out. You know what you're doing. If you're gonna put on a video, you want to know afterwards if you're viewing it, would you actually view it? Mm -hmm. I, on the other hand, I hate it. I flock and hate it. <laughs> I don't even so after my boxing matches, I don't even watch my boxing matches. Like I watch a few clips. Oh, uh, yeah. I just don't like watching myself on camera. Like uh, I'm just like, even when we do the I uh, do the intro with the boxing, those are already made up. I just put them in the section. I don't watch them. I'm just like, start, finish. Okay, that's the intro. I don't. I don't. I have a thing with that. I don't like seeing myself box for some reason. Same thing with the videos. I'm like, all right. I try. Oh, I try to make the girlfriend watch. You're like, look. We do it together. She's like, you suck. Yeah, yeah. So my uh, uh my girlfriend, like, she's she's supportive, but at the same time, she's not really supportive of like the collection. You know, there's a point where I'm collecting too many lines or something like that, or I have have too many boxes waiting for, for me on the floor when she gets home. Home, she'll she'll say she'll say mentions of that, but um, um she watch my YouTube videos and she gives me pretty good criticism as far as like if they're entertaining because she's not interested in collecting. Like that's she cool. Collect, and so she'll she'll tell me from like entertainment stand, standpoint, you know, hey, that was that was fun and fun that had no no story to it, was over the place, you sounded silly. That's good. She she's really good support in my life for that that kind of thing. That's nice. Um, I think I I put so many videos, guys. You see it all the time. I used to you know I post a video of like oh Punky come watch this. Now it's like I don't even ask. I don't even say no more. Hey, let's watch this video. Cause there's five more coming right after it. I, I don't unless I put a really good video together, that's like entertaining for her, like a, maybe a hunt or something, or con stuff. I don't see me not uh, just me showing her more unboxing videos or like the Lord of the Rings review, uh, review I did. I don't really show uh, see us watching those anymore because it's kind of getting my like you know my style kind of thing. But I like to throw my name out there over and over again. Uh, but it's nice to have uh, feedback. I know one of my questions was going to be, uh, I actually thought about this today, was, you know, after I post the video, hey, you mother flockers who thumbed down the video, instead of thumb down it, before you thumb down it, 
Give me a reason why you thumbs down it. It's because I talk too much. If it's because I'm better than you, my collection's better than yours. I don't know. So let me know why you think I uh, I deserve that thumbs down or, or why you did that. And then they probably will never thumbs down again because they're cowards, man, cowards, cowards. <laughs> so I'm start a let's, Facebook group of a thumbling Cletus. <laughs> yeah. So let's get back to you. So uh, when did you you start a collecting? Obviously, as a kid, then you probably took some time off, right? Yeah, so uh, I did heavily as a kid. I was, I was into DC, Marvel, Marvel. I um, collected uh, Mutant Ninja Turtle, Turtle, all that. So every, everything coming out right now is, is like nostalgia for me. God. Um, it's like God-given. Oh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. They know, so it too. I, I gave it up uh, probably about 13, 14, 14. I went to Magic. Magic. So actually doing like like card trick stuff. I That's did, where that jacket comes from. Yeah, so like I did all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I did that semi professionally because I got paid to do like, do like show stuff all the, all the way until I was 20 years old years old um, and then I was like I was like graduating to all that type of stuff, type of stuff. but uh, but yeah I stopped collecting um, I started focusing on like like card tricks and DVDs and books and all that type of stuff so that took up all my expenses when I got back back into collecting was a uh, uh, S figure Dragon Ball Z Z figures I started with the Awaken Goku I think I purchased it on uh, oh, April 2015 so Ooh. I didn't Really collecting everything, and and this is probably probably not the best view of my collection collection because obviously my high price price all hot toys are toys are behind facing me right now. Right, I've seen um, that in the picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I've I've been collecting for three going on four years, and uh, but it, it was a bug. Bug. I mean, similar to your your video style when you started collecting the SSH cards, when you started collecting like the toys. I would go after the entire collection. I knew that that was the deal. Yeah, you got to catch up. Uh, yeah, I'd buy an entire collection and try to get it for, for you know, 100 bucks, and then it was like a dollar <laughs> worth of collection. So, so for me, oh. the Dragon Ball Z, Ball Z, you and Rube, I've been in, in I've been of those guys since since the 2015, and uh, several other several other you know book groups and stuff like, like that. So that's where I got my start. Uh, I, I collected every single figure that year that I could. I think the only the only one that I was was the 2000, 2011 SDCC the Great Holy Yeah Great yeah Goku. Goku. I just couldn't justify a six hundred dollar figure at the time, so he's still on the list even to today. So one day, one day I'll catch it. But but uh, yeah, I have everything, uh, and and not just one. Um, I'm one of those collectors that I pose my figures, but I pose them once. So if my figure has like a secondary look, like a Super Saiyan look and a power down look, we'll buy two of two of the same figure, or sometimes sometimes three or the same figure. Figures. A lot of those I have, I have threes and fours, and, and like the Goku Black, I have fifteen of those. You motherfucker! <laughs> Holy shiz! Those because for you got lighter, those are for two hundred dollars each now. Oh yeah, um, I I actually go of two of them this week for one hundred sixty a plate. Uh, a piece people so, loving so. that oh my god i got yeah. two of them that I paid 100 bucks for 15 oh, yeah. you mother flocker that's it, crazy because the more you collect the, the more you know it's going to be really you know uh, uh you know in price and and, and it's a web-based based exclusive like goku black black what you need to buy as buy as many as you so zama zama soup the the next one coming out they just announced it shit, try to get up try to scoop scoop up as many as you can right and right now i'm telling you yeah you know, just a year from here from now, it's gone up in two hundred dollars, hundred dollar price. Yeah, I just grabbed up the uh, a second Ultimate Gohan. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's one figure I only have two of. So yes, well, makes us two of. Well, I got one. I got one for. Uh, I got this for eighteen bucks the other day. Yeah. Oh, in the that's the, huge. Yeah. They got him, and that's then I was like, I thought they were gonna be all fakes, and I'm watching your video, and I was like, nope, that's legit. That, that's yeah. legit. And I was, I was like. <laughs> Like surely he, surely he got ripped up. Like those are all they're all gonna be knobs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is that the guy was so upset selling me them that he was like, I was like, hey man, thanks for selling me these. I'm gonna have a YouTube video for it. I appreciate it. He <laughs> didn't give a flock. I think he was so <laughs> upset that he was selling it, and the fact that people said people that collect Dragon Ball Z stuff are. Not like you and I, like who can buy like multiples or buy a lot. Yeah, yeah. So they can only buy maybe one fig a month or something like that. So if somebody posts they got a lot for sale for three hundred dollars, nobody's gonna comment on it. He left a comment like lowest price takes it or something like that. I think that was that one. And I was like, hey, I put it on this one or the highest price takes it. I was like, all right, 
I'm the only motherfucker that commented or whatever. <laughs> and I put like a low ball, like the low ball of low ball of comments. So whatever, it worked for me. And uh, uh, it's been like that. So it's that kind of thing. Like you, you just mentioned, not too many, like I mentioned, not too many people can just be able to be buy. Hey, I'm going to buy this lot. And then wait, there's another lot over there. Let me pick that up. Oh, wait, what just happened? Oh, this is the worst flocking time. I just bought two lots. Whatever. I'll just pick it up and I'll bite the bullet later. And then nine out of nine times, it works. Um, but the only one I have guilt for right now is I bought the cable. The mechanical. The Toy Zero. Oh, the one six scale. I'm searching I'll, for that. That motherfucker is skyrocketing in price right now. He's like, I paid like, oh, like 450, bucks. 450. I paid for 385 shipped from Canada, brand new, the premium one, blah, 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 blah. What's going on, Joan? Uh, Lady Draco. Unreal. What's up, Fod? J25. Unflocking real. I couldn't believe. And I see the other bids. You know, the bids were at like 300 plus with 50, $25 shipped. I was like, oh, I'll just buy to buy it now on. But I sold a bunch of things to, uh, to pay for it. But. I hate doing that. I hate doing that. Dude, the the last the last week has been the first two weeks, two weeks. I think I've sold anything in the last probably a year, maybe year and a half. Really? This is like lot. prime time right now. I'm going at Comic Con Con coming up weekend, or this or this week in Kansas City, Missouri, and I want some extra cash. I already know several vendors, Hot Toys vendors. Oh There's wow. Some, there's a Funko Vin vendor that has um, some some certain gray pops that I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up. Figure I get some extra cash so the girlfriend doesn't freak out, you know, when I drop fifteen hundred to two grand. <laughs> That's nice. I like that style. We should stay away from each other. We right. should stay away from each other. Yeah. I like I like that though, man. I don't like to sell. I like to collect. I'll, I'll stack that thing. I mean, I posted a picture in the USA group of because because I bought this house, my my collection been in storage like i just now just displayed everything in the last three three weeks and uh i buy and dragon ball z figure and i lo loaded my desk is about five five feet wide what uh, what you guys guys are seeing me on i i load my entire desk and it and it was three three fig figure stack all of, of unsealed dra dragon ball z yards and at least 30 to 30 to 40 figures that i bought, wow. bought since, since since i packed up my stuff and stuff in her so that's 30 30 figures in months that's uh, that's cool. I think I might have seen that picture, and once in a while, I think I seen your picture with all them. You might have been the picture I seen with all them. Did you post your uh, Goku Blacks? Yeah, yeah. That was the one. That's all. That's a fifteen mother flockers. Yeah. Funny though, <laughs> funny because the only reason I even thought of that is because yesterday, you messaged that dude or you uh, commented on that guy Joseph Blacks Facebook post. What were you looking for from him? Uh, let's see which one. It was a hot oh. toy. He had a hot toy. Uh, he had the crow. DX12, or he had a DX12. He had uh, uh, the crow, and he had Deadpool. Yeah. So I, I was looking at the DX12, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Your, uh, your Batman's and Joker's that you've been able to pick up have sparked my interest also. So oh man, Bane too. Bane is on flocking real. Oh yeah. So I saw a good, good deal on a Bane. So that's probably next. Next, I'll probably look out some of the, some of the Dark Knight Rises figure gears on the hot top, hot, hot toy side. Uh, side, I'd, I'm looking for a tumbler though. Though, I really oh, it's tumbler. too big, too big for me. I can't fit it in the house. But um, so for you guys who don't know, <laughs> yesterday, so there's a post on Facebook. The guy's selling a Deadpool, one six scale hot toy. He's selling the Crow. I think that's a hot toy. And then he was selling a DX12. I've bought in, uh, you guys saw me buy it last week, the Ghost Rider from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He has great prices. Is that why you messaged him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, he had great to, prices, it's right? Like 40, 40, 50 bucks below eBay last sale. I bought a, uh, I would say, near mint, because uh, I bought the Deadpool from him. It's 200 bucks shipped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I said uh, flock yes So right before I bought that though I paid for the um, The custom Face sculpt of Wade Wilson So I want him to So I'm going to have the Wade Wilson With the uh, New Deadpool So I'll have two Deadpools One with out a mask One with a mask I just messaged somebody for that um, 
Wolverine. Um, what's the Wolverine one? It's really good. Everyone's favorite. Um, well, I think that's the only Wolverine, isn't it? There's, uh, well, there's a few different wolf like the the one Wolverine uh, Days of Future Past. That's the best one. He goes for like four hundred bucks. I'm trying to get for like three hundred bucks or so. Some guy in a Facebook group uh, marketplace has it. And you guys know how I go there. I love that Facebook marketplace. Yeah, I do. There's a guy in Texas that had like 20 Hot Toys, but he will not split them up. He's only wanting them all together. Uh, what does he have? It's the uh, the Marvel um, Age of Ultron. Every single one of them. Oh, movies. yeah. That's a great... That's If I was any series, I would probably just buy them. Yeah. Because I got the Hulk. I got the Captain America. Um, I don't want the... Is Bucky from there or is he from Civil War? I don't want him. Uh, I want I want the original yeah. Bucky. Yeah, me too. I want the, the yeah I need the original Bucky to go with because uh, I have the two pack. I have the still suit. Yeah, and yeah. And I see that one for sale all the time. The two pack. Yep. Now I got look. A pick for a steal, I got for two hundred and twenty five bucks from a comic book shop in DC. Oh my god. Yeah, like a hundred ten dollars a piece of figure. No way. <laughs> no flocking way. That's ridiculous. What up, Robin Lena? What up, C4? What up, the Kingdom Game? Joan, now hitting the follow button. Appreciate that, girl. Um, Jakey Jake, what's crack a Now, when did you start collecting Funko Pops? Uh, so, Funk Funko? Funko's a fun, a fun story for me, man. I told him I would never get, in, get into Funko. I, like, I like I did all my SH figure arts. I had stepped out and collected <laughs> some other action figures. And you're, you're about to um, be killed. Why is that line, like that Mayfax, I think, is another line. A lot of, a lot of imports in my focus, focus. Then I saw Goku Black, which Goku Black is kind of my favorite Dragon Ball Z villain. I'm not up to it yet. He's a villain? Idea. God damn it, spoilers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so anyway. So Tiago, thank you. Black, uh, uh, Goku Day, you know, the, the Super Saiyan version of him, uh, came out on a hot topic. I happened to just go in there one day and picked it up, and then I came home with it, and I told myself, I'm not going to collect like the damn pops. I'm not going to spend the money on this plastic. Dick. No way. You can't, you can't even thing with them. They, they don't pose. They just they just sit there. Oh. Well, I, or I go to the store, and I can return the Go Goku Rose, the Hot Top Topic exclusive. And the lady, lady at the counter is, are you sure? Like, we're sold out of this. Let's, like, you want to read this? <laughs> and, and I was like, uh, well, now it's said that you're sold, sold out, and I guess there's a, there's a point. I'm going to keep keep it. And then I was hooked. And I'm I'm probably 700, 100 pops in, in now. Wow. Since it's Goku Rose, Rose. I don't know what date, what date that pop came out. It probably, it probably couldn't have been more than a year ago. I'm probably 700 to 800 pops in. <laughs> this doesn't. This is not all my pops. Some of my pops are in big red tubs. Yeah, I understand like, that. It, it's like 80 gallon tubs. I have most of my pops in those. Yeah, I don't want the uh, banker box route. So USA, thanks for the follow, mother flocker. Welcome to the Ham Squad. Um, yeah, I know about those uh, tubs. So. The hot topic employee sold you on Funko Pops. <laughs> the only thing that yep. sucked about that one particular pop, it got released in pop culture, and yep. ever since then, I think I had like twelve of them at one point yep. because of uh, the re-release of them, or well, six of them, something like that. Stupid. If not though, that would have been a uh, you know a hundred dollar pop easily, easily. Oh, oh, yeah. It's that. Oh, where's the Funko gonna drop us now with? Especially with that uh the dragon. Uh, the Drogon, Hot Top Exclusive. Oh my god, he used to go for $150 and then got down to 100 Now it's down to retail. The mother flock has flocked us on that one hard. I'm so pissed yeah, about that. Us, but, uh, I see some Game of Thrones yeah. pops behind you right there. Yeah, I do, I do have a few. I, I def definitely have a few of those. Um, what are you looking for? Nothing crazy. Uh, you I, know, I know you got them. You got them. Uh, <laughs> what are you looking for? But I got some triples. You got some triples? I got some triples. What are you looking for? Uh, Hey, that's what that's the way to be um yeah i'm i've like focused on studying studying everything about Fun Fun funko first year and, and uh quickly know what's worth it what's not how to make my money how to keep my money in them that type of stuff so uh yeah i just love collecting um chase are not what they used to be for that for right. sure i am I am very when i say good at catching chases for working eight to five I can get chases like nobody's business. Um, <laughs> I can pick up them up. I usually work my schedule around. I have very 
Um, if I have an eight to five five, I can tile whenever I prefer because I have my own schedules typically for each day based off the meetings and classes that I teach. Gotcha. So, um, that's the, the fun in it, man. I, I like like finding the exclusives. Yes, yeah, that's like the best part. Um, I hate the community. Uh, yeah. Community sucks. <laughs> See, around here, in, so I'm in, I'm in Arkansas, which is, is like the home Walmart. So, so if you know Walmart, we are, we are the, the the home office is the road from my my house, and so it's so it's a very busy, young professional. Every neighborhood neighborhood is young professional that works for Walmart. Walmart. A lot of us collect, just collect. A lot of collectors and in this area don't just collect just collect code, but collect you know, H-Fig arts and Dragon Ball Z, and there's a bunch of YouTubers that live, live in this area. That's uh, nice. See here or, in New York, you get like a regular plumber that comes right up into the damn hot topic over there. He's trying to make extra twenty dollars for the day, so he goes over there, he picks a few up, goes back home. We don't live in population uh, Kansas City style. I went to Kansas City one time for the Ringside World Championships. Uh, oh, you, nice. Yeah, I forgot what arena it was. You fight five fights in five days for across people all over the country, uh, all over the world. You know, you win a belt and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, took a small ass plane to get there. I was scared to death. You take a big plane, take a little ass plane. I was like, oh my god, please God, Lord. Hopefully, I'll pass out. But uh, I like Kansas City when it came to that. Uh, yeah. Kansas City was good. I went to Arkansas once. Oh, that was a shit fest. Oh, I'll never go there again. I went there for a boxing tournament. So I'm in, I'm in West Arkansas, like, like which which is very tip, like the furthest as north you can be in the state. If you go south of here, the state, state is completely different. It's different for people, different background, it's different way of life for me. <laughs> so I live in the hub, hub the major of the melting All right. hub, walks and walks of life. You ain't yeah, got too many Claytuses out there. <laughs> yeah, if you go about about 30 miles south, you'll run on into all that um, and more. So, so uh, um, um, you have been collecting since, since then and got into, into Funko. Basically, basically a year, and uh, right now I'm trying to focus on my pops, which you know of. I'm trying to complete my sets. Ooh, yeah. So you just Dragon Ball Z you're trying to complete right now? Uh, Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia. Um, I'm obsessed with animes. Those are my two favorite animes. Um, mm. My Hero Academia, I'm going to sound like a fanboy, but I literally got onto this maybe a month and a half ago, and I watched all three seasons and ends and everything. You probably pick up, pick up, pick up. It, it, in like a month. So I obsess over things. It's my personality. When I like something, I go after every collectible, every everything that you can get into the line. That uh, sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. Watch your videos on my I'm like, they're very similar. Like that personality is totally my personality. Yeah, it's um. Even though if people don't think you're a competitive person, but when you put somebody in the atmosphere of something that they enjoy as like a hobby. You see that competitive spirit animal come out of them. You can be like very low spoken. You probably don't get mad too much or whatever. But next thing you know, I'll flock yourself off. You get in one of my ways. You're trying to pick up a figure that I'm trying to pick up. I might even flock you off on the damn messenger if you don't sell me a damn figure. <laughs> yeah, man. I, um, I've, been, I've been there and I, I totally share that same uh, that same personality. Yeah. I'm extreme. If I played college collegiate sports, played football and stuff like like that. So that side of me being competitive, I don't play sports today, but like collecting for me, there's a there's a good like competition in it. I want to have the best collection. I want I want it to look the best. Right. To always, you know, I just want to kind of complete things and and, and kind of hold on to because it's because it's it's an island when you have every, every but but I don't right. have everything, so I'm always collecting. It'll so. never end. But the, the the big thing there is. You want to have the best collection that you can get, right? Yeah. Not it's just me. trying to be better than anybody else in the world. You're just trying to be the best collection that you can get. And that's exactly. meaning picking up all the figures that you're in desirable of. Mm -hmm. I, Me being the best collector, having a whole bunch of Superman figures and DC figures that I don't collect, that's not me being the best collector. That's just me hoarding a bunch of shit that I don't want and taking up space in my house. Like you just like I mentioned, it's being the best collector. Like you owning all those SH figures, you proud of that? Owning all those damn uh, Goku Blacks that nobody else has, you're proud of that, and you able to share that with everybody, and that makes you the best at what you do right there. So that that's nice, and it's a great feeling, especially the fact when we all know what's up, RJ, buying something for 
eighteen dollars when it's valued at eighty bucks or ninety bucks, or if you buy something that's eighteen dollars and it goes up over and over again from retail price, over and over. I love doing it. I, you guys, that's my favorite part of collecting is buying a as a figure. Mm-hmm. At ten dollars, say, and next thing you know, I put it away for two or three years, and I come look back on it and go, "Wow, that thing's two hundred fifty bucks." Do it all the time with the girlfriend. I love it. I go, "Oh look, how much you pay that?" I was like, "I paid ten bucks." But actually, I sold something recently. I paid like seven bucks for it or six bucks because I use uh, all them coupon codes and our topic. But yeah. I was like, I paid six dollars for these. I own thirteen of them, and I'm selling them nonstop. Just, just nonstop. Uh, recently, we had those Wreck It Ralph Turbo Men pops. Uh, Pop Collector One One got me on it. I owned about twenty eight of them, and I paid three dollars a piece for them, and was selling them for like twenty three dollars each. I was, cra- I was selling one every day. I sold one like every- I was like, this is the greatest. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I had, uh, I had one of those realizations just yesterday. Um, you probably saw my post, maybe, and uh, one, one sick public buy, buy, sell, and trip. My post was only up for thirty minutes. No, I didn't. I, I um, I had to take my um notifications off that website, so I have to <laughs> manually go into it. Cause you see what happened last time. I had notifications on for each post. I fucked oh, up. Oh, yeah. I know, man. I'm right there with you. I get notified all day. What's bad is my watch. My watch is notifying mm-hmm. me all day. Long, day yeah, I don't so. get that. So, what was your uh, post? So that so you weren't you weren't interested in something that we were, that we were going to tour, and so I was like, you know what, I, I want this. Um, um, I won the Hot Toys, the Mark III uh, War Machine. It's from a uh, Civil War. Oh yeah. So 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 that War Machine that I was I was like, hey, if you're interested, I got it. Yeah go. yeah. So so at, if you go on eBay, you know sales are anywhere between like like hundred to nine hundred right now. Yeah. Anywhere between, I won, won that war game twenty dollars. Literally get the, twenty dollars. Get the I, flock I, out of here. Night. One of one of the legit headquarters quarters raffles. Um uh, you probably, probably know on Facebook. Um uh, the raffling toys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty active on there because I used I used to play a lot of Jack back in the day in the day anymore, but more, but that's my form of gambling gambling anymore. And so yeah, twenty dollars, one one number. Sniped an entire, I think it was a 60 out of 60 uh, raffle. <sighs> Fuck that. The $600 war machine. That's pretty and cool. Pay for 600 bucks. And it was 20 bucks. I was 20 bucks into it. So that realization is just crazy. Um, I had another one of those happen to me where, uh, uh, and this is hot related. Mark 47. Are you familiar with the Mark 47? Yeah, uh, it's on everybody's in search of list and everybody's dying for one. No one will sell them. So he was my second hot toy ever. Bought it for retail. You still got it. Still got it. Yeah, everybody wants that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah I don't think I'll I didn't collect yet when it came out, but yeah, it, it's right when that came out. Right when I was collecting. Uh, there's a store store in Kansas City that we visit any any time. Go up to Kansas City. It's a hot toys exclusive store. So they put every, everything on display. And and uh, yeah, that's that was my was my second hot ever, and and to see the realization of that of that toy go up to you know, you know thousand to fifteen hundred bucks bucks a day long is <laughs> well, hot toy toys. <laughs> that thing is crazy. That thing is off the charts. I like I said, I didn't start collecting yet, and I wasn't going after it. I was trying to get, I'm trying to get the Mark one through seven. I'm gonna probably pick up the Mark five. The next. I would love to have the armor yeah, set. The next five is that I got the armory. Um, not the armory. The uh. Yeah, it was the armory, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got those guys on pre-order. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. That's um, a, that's that's me trying to figure out in the future if I can get all all seven. Um, I really want. It's not that three. hard. It's not that hard right now. They got three out, right? Four is out right now. You could buy that. You could buy three and four. One yep. supposed to get a re-release. I've already got, got a five. I've got the Mark Mark Five. You got the Mark Five. Yep. The hardest one. Uh, and six, five, and six. Seven's coming out. Which looks yep. flocking amazing. That's the reason I don't want that war machine is because I'm getting a war machine from the 2020 release. I already got it on pre order. Because I got the 2020 release too. <laughs> yeah, I got the 2020 one. I want the other one. Uh, Mark, Mark 1 supposedly is supposed to get a re release of a die cast, and they haven't really ever done a official Mark 3 re- release. They have like a half, it's like half. 
So I'm uh, I think I'm I'm forty forty or fifty dollars dollars in the Mark One right now. I have I have the first version, which is not the the highly sought after after version of the one. I won that all on a raffle. Raffle. Yeah, I don't uh, raffle. I don't waffle. I'm not a waffler, guys. Is that Goku? Uh, I don't waffle all day. <laughs> uh, Robert Kinzel, what's going on, buddies in the house? Uh, he asked, "Is that Goku and Power Pole in the case?" Hmm. You talking about my case or your? Yours? Definitely not my case because mine got nothing but Bucky O'Hare and Ninja Turtles that are full over. Uh, I've got, I've got, got Goku in the Power Pole. Um, uh, I've got, I've got Goku in a little, little behind, which is really cool. Really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys can you turn that, that can you turn that case over? I, I like to see what's inside the case too, guys. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Ooh. And and then I actually so I'm finishing these cases for here. I'm not finished yet. yet. There's still a lot, a lot of carryover over there. Oh, I like that riser right there. Yeah, yeah. Those are, are so those are kind of weird weird cases. Three shelf case cases. They're white and detox. I got it from Ikea, Ikea, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm finishing those, but, but, but yeah, man, man, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really about to add lights. It's, let me fix this. Lights are the worst. It took me like three months to actually put the lights on. Yeah, uh, um, it's yeah, so tedious. I, it's annoying. Oh, man, I love, love the way, the way that, you know, kind of brighten up, brighten up. I'll kind of pan over here so you guys can see. Oh, there's a mock one. Sides of me. They're all my hot toys. So. What door? What door is that? That's the that's the room. The road one, right? Yep. Yeah, I haven't taken mine out of the box yet. He's the best yeah, he's, one. He's a, yeah, he's the best. He's the best door. door. Like, and he's never er, er, gonna have the hair again. So, so. Yeah, that's, that's exactly why I picked it up because of the hair. Keep that in collection, and it's a sideshow exclusive. So, just like anything else, that's an exclusive. The only sideshow. One of those retailers can get those. Yeah, so. same thing with those. The same thing with toy toy fair too, right? How's the toy fairs work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Toy fair, the, the, yeah, toy fair exclusive. Uh, so that's also what I'm picking up up on Hot Toys is like what, which ones to collect and and you know the ones ones they usually all hold their their, their value and stuff. But they're they're a good investment as far as like collect collector go. But uh, a few of them will, will probably double triple quadruple in price. Yeah, so, depends he's, he's, too. He's one. He's one. I mean. As soon as he's, soon as he's doing Thor or, or or next Thor movie, movie I mean, I can see that, that figure you're going up by easily. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep my Road One thrown. I was really in search of the Age of Ultron one until that one came out, because yeah. the Age of Ultron set is basically one of the best sets out of getting all those figures. Did you get the Hulk? You got the Hulk bust on pre-order? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got the Hulk buster on pre-order. Two point oh one too. Yeah, 2.0 for sure all day. I don't want the that. The Mark 46 or Mark 43 that goes with it too? Oh. Yeah, pre-ordered. I got to pre-order it too. It's just sitting there waiting for me to like, hey, take me. Hello. I, oh. I got uh, what's coming in this month. I've got Captain America from Infinity. Um, okay. I haven't unboxed here, so. mine. I got, got the movie movie promo. promo uh, I fucking hate that thing. I hate the other one too. I'm not into it. You <laughs> offered it to me. I was like, next I was like, ah, it's twenty dollars more, but you know, but but yeah. So I've that one coming, and I just got uh, Neo. Um, so so I have Neo. Oh, you got Neo. I'm looking to get him. He's one yeah. of the few that's not a Marvel. You don't got him. Still, still hot in the case. I just I just uh, unboxed him the other day. I'm looking but, to see uh, if I can get him in person. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. And, and that's I'm sure that that store that you uh, that really cool. Thing yeah, yeah. Store. One now. Uh, one. Yeah, I think they'll have it in person, and then I'm like, yeah. he's an awesome epic. figure though. I see must have 15 Dude, views he, on him. Freaking epic with accessories that it comes with. Ten guns. Oh yeah. Ten yeah, guns, so. posability, right? Yeah, he's one of the ones. As soon as it sells out, double value easily. Yeah, nobody else is gonna. Everybody's gonna want him afterwards easily. Everybody. Yeah. He's just so cool, and it was smart that, and it kind of made sense that they were gonna make one of him because they got yeah. the John Wick coming out. They could use the face sculpt over yeah, and over again. Just need, need a little license, and I think they got the license and John Wick. They got yeah. the John Wick license. I can't wait for the John Wick. Wick though. Um, I just watched, just watched the the last, tra last trailer. I never seen any of them. People say it's off the charts. Oh man, you need to watch it tonight, Sunday night. 
Sunday night, I'll be all pumped up and start shooting stuff up. Oh, dude, dude, it's awesome. So, uh, that uh, one's legit. Yeah, that's like one of the best movies. The first one, for sure. Uh, the second one's really good, but uh, the third one, one looks good. So. We'll oh, see. man. It, it's going to be awesome, though. I, I'm a big, a big you know, fan, so. That's cool. Uh, C4 asks, so, uh, I think questions, um, will PPG getting a mobile app? No, they are not getting a mobile app, unfortunately. Um, I don't think they're actually allowed to actually have a mobile app right now. And it costs between eighty to uh, fifty five hundred thousand dollars $80,000 to $500,000 to start a new app and actually have a good one. So they are not going to be getting an app, unfortunately. And it sucks, too, because PPG is so flocking slow. And the new Funko app is so flocking bad. Can't filter anything. They took away the website. So, uh, unfortunately, that is not taking place. I'm very sad about that, just like you guys over there. Uh, I don't even use it. I go on PPG and waste 15 minutes of my life just looking at questions. Like, I mean, uh, just lo looking at loading screens. Like, oh, I can't believe I didn't spell that wrong. If you spell it wrong, it'll wait another five minutes till it loads. It flocking sucks. I'm using just eBay right now. It goes a little bit faster. Uh, what do you use? So uh, I'm using the Funko app. app. Uh, it sucks. Uh, Horrible. No filter. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't do anything. I've, I've seen people try to scan things, and since like that doesn't exist, but yeah, yeah, holding the pop in their hand. Man. Who flocking scans it? Type it in, you lazy sons of guns. <laughs> I know, I know, right? So, but yeah, I, I, man, I'm I'm a big on eBay. That that gives me the most most real price, and I, and any any more be check the year years all the time. Like yeah. I, I I look at that newly listed and and sell page just for so many so many things a week. Uh, um, I'm faster on, faster on there i search a pop and pop and, and last selling selling price and then i usually I usually haggle that so I'll on what picture up off the sale so like if we're like talking about something on facebook yeah I'll send most sale, sale price on eBay and i'll say hey hey look that person lost 10 percent take that price down by 10 percent right right I'll buy it. yeah you don't want to sell me something on facebook i will rip you apart on fees <laughs> or yeah. you people try right, to make yeah. people ask me to buy their lots and stuff or fa fungal piles i'm like listen get, i'll buy it 30 percent that's it not yeah, buying man. nothing more. Thirty percent of value. That's all I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. I mean, retailers really like. I mean, if they're stepping up the plate, it's fifty percent. But for me, you, a normal person, I mean, we can't pay pay more than thirty forty percent. Yeah, uh, I can't do it. I'm not doing it. Makes it. No sense. I'm not paying it. And uh, the only th it's the one thing that Funko does to to, to these other uh, retail stores that other companies have not been able to do, and actually get that flipping price on them. Because most stores like to flip their items, you know, they pay four or five dollars for it, and they'll flip yep. it for two, usually two times the value. Funko yep. doesn't do that with them. I know this because when I buy them from, I use all my damn coupon codes, and they'll be saying I'm getting it cheaper from what they, from cheaper than what they get it for. And I'm like, damn. First of all, like they have two packs and stuff. I'm like, I'm getting this shit cheaper than you guys, and they get yep. pissed because I have all the codes. I'm like a coupon boy over there and it works off uh, but Funko's been able to do that and I don't know how long it's going to last because we go to Hot Tits and Barnes and Nobles and there's stock on stock on stock that doesn't even get to see the light of day especially at Hot Topic you know they don't bring stuff out until the other stuff's gone and that never even takes place ever it sucks yeah I'm, I'm I try to never pay retail for anything I collect that and sounds. Like, we are the same goddamn style, huh? <laughs> I'm a moderator at one of the groups. Um, that uh, he he's a uh, California um, um, toy toy shop owner owner, and so I'm a moderator. So the perks of that is, is I usually get like five or ten dollars off off the figure anyway. So if it's something really really hard, to get, it's imported from Japan. Japan. He's my guy. So What's uh, what group is that? Uh, it's called it's called Ageless Geeks. Oh yeah, I just got uh, joined them. This guy sold stuff from Japan. Yeah. Of course you yeah. thought of that. You, I'm, I'm a moderator in there, so if, so if you need anything, holler at me. Uh, what I asked for recently, I think yeah. I put a pre-order for the Zazum. Zazum? What's his name? Zazus? Uh, oh, yeah. Zamazu? I put a pre-order in for them. I'm about to just put in for like eight. No, he'll, he'll be legit. He won't cancel your order. He'll follow through. He got me in for one. Yeah. yeah he's yeah, cool. Yeah, he's, he, he, Jason he's K.O., cool. right? His name is Jason K.O.? Something like that? Is that Jason? Uh, uh, no, that that's one of the members in there. No, uh, Alex, Alex Bloss. Okay, all right. So yeah, it's another so, one. I talked to so many stupid nerds. 
uh, uh, he's awesome though. Uh, uh, Alex, uh, he runs a shop shop at uh, Frank Sons, which I think which I think you there maybe maybe. I went there once, yeah. Yeah. So he he runs a shop. He started a, uh, like a table there. It's hard to get a yeah. shop there, so. Oh, the shop is taken over, and they have a uh, off office yes, because this has blown up also. So in the last three years, I mean, adult acting has like just exploded, and uh, uh, there's signs and licenses and just so many cool things for collectors right now. So yeah, he, he's one man, man person. My friend's from um, San Gabriel, which is Los, Los Angeles. So every every time I visit her family, I went went to Frank over the last three year, years. Nice, got a really good relationship with the owner and. Uh, yeah, he's one of my bros, bros for sure. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I went there one time. I had a blast. I was only collecting Funko Pops at the time, so I kind of want to go oh, back. Oh, yeah, there's there's a, there's a lot of toy vendors there, there man. Yeah, like I flocked up. I see Post all the time. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. It, yeah, that's like San Diego Comic Con year round. That's literally what it is. Yeah, it was off the charts. And I was lucky that one time I went, they had like a special thing that they were actually open on like a Wednesday. Like a Tuesday oh, yeah, went, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, flock gas. I was only going pop hunting, and there was more there than I want to see anywhere else, even at a con. Oh, yeah, easily like the ceiling and shops type of stuff. <sighs> Unflock. I remember market. that place, it was cool. I wish I would live there. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All those people get toys first, and they get that. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's funny you mentioned the one thing how toy collecting has been like on the rise for adults, right. And the theory is, you know, my parents, what are they like doing? Buying cars, sex, and drugs, and hanging out clubs. That's what they did. That's all they did. You know, my brother's a little bit older. They, they barely even had video games. Like, the first system literally was, and the first system he paid, uh, bought that came out was Nintendo. So you could sell him a little bit on video games, but not too much because he only played it for a few years till he hit high school. But then when we, these 90 kids came around, like, I was born in 86. When were you born? 88. So 88. Now. Yeah, right there. So, we grew up, you know, there's cartoons, there's TV shows, there's animation, there's video games, there's all pop the culture. Awesome Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Yeah. Everybody loved comic books. Everybody loved the, or, or even if you read it, you always love the actual characters of them. Uh, it's unflocking real, and they're taking huge advantage of all of us. It's, it's not fair, man. It's not yeah, flocking that's what fair. They, they know how to like, keep getting us for more. Um, but yeah, the, the you know, mostly it's like a lot of the imports right now, like all the import uh, companies, uh, uh, Bandai, Tomashi Nations, that's that's Mezco. Oh, you got Mezco. You got Revolt. You got, you got, you got so many yeah. different lines. They're always they're dropping fire i mean literally action figures they they believe they're dropping figures for so it's it's hard not to pre-order and uh you know you know i've said it a lot of times uh I, my pre-orders sometimes times get away from me you know so sometimes i'll i'll be looking at them a month a month and i'll spend you know a thousand dollars on action figures and just one thing a month is my orders yeah and those uh those medicals are no joke man ninety dollars for a fucking figure this big it's ridiculous. The detail on it is amazing. But, you know, I'll take this damn Popeye over here. For what you could pay 150 bucks at it, if you could buy for 150, 160 bucks. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know it'll always keep its retail value, but that's fucking crazy. You know, it's a little different when Funko Pops. I could pay 10 bucks every week, all week long. And then look back on it and be like, oh, look, it's been two, three years. That's worth now $100 or $50 or 30 bucks. I don't know how much room there is to make on these long-term things. Big, oh, yeah. Like, if that, um, like, what you got with those Goku Blacks, if yeah. those were like a Funko Pop thing that you paid for $10 for, they would still, they would probably end up around $250, $300. Where that's probably gonna max out at what two hundred, three hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see too many uh, people buying a common for more than you could buy the androids and stuff like that at this point, right? So there's not that much meat on a bone when it comes to these and pops at all. Like these nano droids, I'll probably get retail. Hopefully, I'm glad I bought them for less than that. Cause now I'm yeah. flocked. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that, that again, again, it's buying what you like, but it's also buying smart. And, smart. And, you know, 
you know, like Android sets, sets. I've got two of Android, all of them. And, and all times I've been a part of like entire collections. So I would, I would get the price down to like $55 per figure or yep. less, you know. I tried to get 20. My, yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that was my goal. So then you look back at it and I was like, all you right. know, I could sell my 18 and my 17 um, for, you know, 130 to 150 bucks piece. Right, but or even if it's sell it at retail, at least you're not even biting a bullet on shipping because they always come back to retail at least, right? They always come yeah. back to retail. So retail, retail was like sixty bucks back then. Yeah, but right. Nations, that's the thing. Tomashi Nations, you know, Bandai, they're not gonna, gonna probably re-release a lot of those figures. Um, Look, he's you know, selling me on it now. This piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna come out with with the you know the 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 the, the, the color graded. Um, upgrade or whatever, and, and that's the the bad thing. You know, even 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 the premium format that they they came out yeah, with, like the junk. trunk or the either either one of those figures were 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 kind of more like like more poor than the first version. And, you know, they, right? And, and, and it just minds, you know, you know when when you go to a true true yard Dragon Ball Z collect, Z collect, the OG is where it's at. The only OG OG that sucks ass ass um, is is the Super Saiyan three three Goku. That's the only only OG that's not worth ha worth having. I see people people for a hundred dollars and I just laugh at them because it's a piece of crap figure. Is that bad, huh? It's that bad. Stay away from it. Don't try to buy that. Everybody's like the effects though. The effects, man. The effects. I know that's what everybody says. I'm like, oh, just I I see so many of those go without the effects. I bet you can find the effects by the nose. That's what you just gotta pick up the effect. Damn it. So I'm the same way when I come to just buying SH figure arts in general. I won't buy that Japan release. You guys see, I see me, I pay for it. I got 25 or, wait, no, I had 10% on 20, I got to feel like 30% off the other day on the um, the SH figure arts, Mr. Satan. I got to buy them at 30% off. I buy three of them. Yep, yep. So I, I can't buy the uh, the Japanese version. So some Japanese ver versions are worth it. Some um, some are good. I'm gonna some wait it out. Bad. I'm waiting it out for that. It's not a good one. Um, and I'll tell you why. Is that sticker that always sticker sticker right here? Uh huh. Silver silver. Um, not, not this one because that's their new gen new general sticker, which is stupid. Um, the little Toei anime animation sticker. It's a gold one. That's in specific. Uh, specific. The value of those will actually actually climb here. All over, right, so there's time. box collectors on these flocking things too. Ah, oh, man, I'm learning yeah. stuff as we go. And so, so people will pay for the sticker. They'll pay for the shipper. So, so think about it. As hot the toys. shipper, so yep, I know. People go crazy for it. The shipper, the Japanese, Japanese figures. It's the only difference. But if it's not a web web based exclusive in Japan, it's not gonna have a gold region specific sticker. Gotcha. So, Amasu has a region specific sticker. Uh, um, Goku Black has region specific sticker. And if you can, you can get one of those with a shipper and the gold sticker, I bet it would sell for two fifty to three hundred bucks right now. <sighs> ridiculous! So, that's ridiculous. In the, in the group, but uh, I'm, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. One of them. I, I care less. I just I just want the figure. I'm, gonna I'm happy price. if I get the figure. I got too much shit to collect to care about too yeah, much yeah. stuff that's going on. I'm like, come on, uh, what do you want from me? I got five other things coming in today. Yes, I got oh. that. Flock out of here. So, so right, now, Super Boo. Boo. You know, yep. um, I'm waiting him out. But it's Japanese. I'm not gonna jump on, you know, no ninety dollar figure. I'd rather rather pick it up for sixty five bucks or where I got. Yeah, it. I'm buying. Uh, I'm gonna buy three of them for about yeah. forty eight dollars a piece. Yep, Barnes yep, and Noble. Exactly. Yep. As it comes out for pre order, just those there, there get that sent off plus, plus another coupon. I'll wait my. It. I'll wait too patiently. You know, I see the review for the Super Bowl now, right? Evil Boo, whatever you wanna call him. I'm not gonna get him for another three months. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Jedi Patrol unboxed um, the Doctor Strange. He paid early for. It. He paid a couple. Oh, he paid. Yeah, yeah. He paid uh, Eric Lee. He's like yeah. Hundred extra. Yeah. Yeah. No 100 way. hundred and <laughs> I think probably a hundred plus shipping, right? <laughs> no way. I, that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not getting him for like two months. Yeah. No way. I'm I'm good on that. My pre-order is doing well for me. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'll wait it out. He'll probably never do that again because he tried to be the first one to be like to, to do the review of it. And uh, yeah, Eric Lee and Lee and Justin, those guys. Yeah, he gave it to Justin's collectors first, and he re he reviewed it in his goddamn hotel room the a couple <laughs> days like a day before, which was yeah. uh, which is hilarious because he spent all that damn money for that motherfucker. I, I'm like, you know, uh, I haven't doubled up on any hot toys yet. I don't think I will. 
I was gonna do Thanos, but the new Thanos gonna come out. Yeah, um, yeah, he's got to make it fully armored and it look awesome. Yeah, it comes with that little weapon. Oh. Whew. But so what hot? So let's get a little. We have to do a live trade here. Uh, or we'll, we'll think about it. I gotta, I gotta negotiate myself here. So Uh-oh. he's in search of what is the Funko Pop that you're in search of? So I pretty much pretty much know this off my head. I need I need metallic weeds. Uh huh. Yeah, I went through hell for that motherfucker. <laughs> I need a red eyes Frieza. Uh-huh. That's, uh-huh. that's the second highest grade for, for sure under Arya Vegeta. Um, I need a uh, metallic. Buy a custom Vegeta. <laughs> I know I'm going to. I'm gonna get one of those fifty dollar eBay ones. Yeah. Easily. Um. Beerus. Uh, yeah, I need metallic Beerus. I need the stupid, stupid chocolate booth. I oh, I got that one, the flocker. I could get that for, that for like 30 bucks from like pop culture. But nah, you want that yeah. cool ass dragon sticker. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and, then I, shoot, and, and that's, that's the thing with pop. I'm like, I don't, I don't care if it has sticker unless it's like, like an SDC one. Mm, um, I do. I kind of care for stickers. I hate when I get them pop culture shits. Yeah, same thing here. I got them in like Vegeta, and I'm, and I'm like, uh, uh, like, where can I get a sticker? <laughs> I know, yeah. So, so, so I'm getting way into my pop pops, but uh, I do look, do look for the condition. That's that's the thing. You know, kind of every, every, I, I'm very similar to you because I displayed all, laid all my pops out of box. box. I made that mistake. I think I have 200 of them out of box, and then oh, I had God. to go through the process of putting them back in the box. box ah, <laughs> I did a no, live stream like that. That's tough. So, but yeah, man, yeah, man. Uh, for all of those, those uh, that's everything. Yeah, that's all. So that's the. Much, you can think of that's that, that's that's what I'm searching for. Uh, uh, Robert Kinsley needs an Android 18. You need an SH figure out one. He's a Pokemon dude, and he does uh SH figure arts. You should put uh Danny on your show. Uh, Robert, RJ. Oh yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he Android does. That's, and that's the thing. Also, also uh, not to like to like change subjects in the trade because like, we'll come back for sure. Now nah, we'll come back to that. I'm not even in the mood to sell any of these motherfuckers. And an 18, they don't make SH figure arts like, like that anymore. Um, if, you, if you look inside boxes, they have several different face sculpts, they have several different, different accessories. They don't, they don't put the money into the figure like they used, used to because they know, know they get away with just doing I mean, four pairs of hands and for three faces. So, it's, it, uh, you know, you know, you look at boxes, even the, the boxes, the bar is completely, completely different. The bar right. on the old OG figures, they're curtain art. Covered, covered in color, covered in, in you know different display, display, and it just looks better. It's better, so they're just yeah. not like they used to. Yeah, um, and then you know everybody's just begging for like a 2.0 version. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna be making a 2.0 Krillin. They're definitely making 2.0 Android 17 and 18, and they don't want they they definitely ain't coming out this year, folks. Uh, yeah. they do need a 2.0 Piccolo though. I would take yeah. one hand. Oh. Um, I would be so down for a battle damage like the Awakened Goku. Right. Piccolo. That would be right. Me. That that oh, would yeah. be my uh, wish. I would say uh, all those, all of them should be b- battle damage. Yeah, 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 like the Gohan or the Go- the Goku. Yeah, come out, all of them. They all got flocked up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. Oh man, <laughs> all of them, every single one of them, and I'm cool with that. And I'm cool yeah. with them. It would still make it worth. You wanting the originals, and you get to keep that one. I hate this shit with the freaking halo over the head. I'm like, yeah. I would wish they would uh, cleat the, uh, the, you know, all, all the figures and sets. Like, like, you know, we get a kid boo boo. Gotta get it. Are you to that season? That season? I think you're. I'm still. I'm still waiting for my. Um, I just got to Frieza getting killed for the first time. Are you seen uh, Kiss uh, Kiss Me? You know, you know about that. So no, not yet. Out. Oh, I'll, I'll hitch up after this, cause, cause Kiss Hands can watch every every season episode, every movie, every movie thing for free. free. And uh, no, no, I, I watch them all for free. I get them all for free. That's good. It's just you know, I put that shit on when I go to bed. <laughs> <I'll> knock <laughs> yeah. the flock out. You want to put me to sleep? I'll say it now. You put on Dragon Ball Z. I'll fall asleep within the first twenty minutes. F- fifth, <laughs> first ten minutes. I'm gonna say it. I'm like this. You, you you must be watching the actual Dragon Z, not uh, uh, the uh, Kai version. Or Dragon uh, Ball Z. 
Ivern that's like all all five battles. Nah, out, this like, I, so uh, this is the other thing. I'm, you do not watch Dragon Ball Z in the bed with your girlfriend. That <laughs> shit is like that. Hi, yeah, watch, watch, watch. Lower it, and then they talk. <laughs> sorry, honey. <laughs> sorry. It goes up. I'm like, I'm just gonna listen to it on low. <laughs> Lady Draco gonna kill me. It's amazing oh, to hear funny. you guys talk like, about like, your uh, collection. Yeah, I wish. Uh, uh, I wish they would, uh, complete all the all nine. Uh, we need, uh, need uh, the rest of the droids. We need, we need 19, 20, Doctor Doro. We need. Uh, uh, we need. We need the Dell. We need. Uh, I'm still waiting. I like them Ginyu Force things. I like what I get to see, man. Oh, I want. I think. Um, yeah. I like yeah, the. Yeah. Part yeah, I thought. Uh, I think I even pre-ordered the other one. Yeah, that's what I think I got Jason KO from. I got the the, the freaking uh, Australian dude. Did, did you get that Ginyu? The Captain Ginyu? Yeah, yeah. Everything's <laughs> like super loose. Like I um, I have to. I haven't taken him out of the box to flock around with his legs, but I'm probably gonna glue his ass together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, I've watched my friends like just look, like permanently pose him. And then glue all the little parts. Yeah, like, yeah. That, I already yeah. pre like, it. That, you find like a, a just like a, like a you know you know a statue, just just a statue that scales well. <laughs> if that's what you're gonna, uh, it's probably cheaper for than two bucks or sixty bucks. Yeah, flock out of here, and they're never gonna make it. Uh, Lady Draco, yeah, there's a two point version. That's actually a thing. That's what they do when they uh, technically re-release a figure that's been like. And funny because I'm new to these things. It's been like an old mold. Mold. They'll give you an upgraded mold. Say the joints were flocked up or just didn't look right. They'll do that. Um, so USA. Uh, I must say it's amazing to hear you guys talk about collection business. I didn't know that much money invested in toys. Damn, I probably got about hundred and fifty thousand dollars in figures in in just my storage in this house. It's not even including my stuff that I grew up with from the past years. Yeah, so I don't know how much you got. I, I just—it's not that I spent that much. It just happens yeah. that you know they just go up in yeah. price, and you get to see that, and then you see like we talked about how they take control of the market, and I can see how a company like Funko just keeps making. Hey, you don't like Funko, but guess what? Your toy company doesn't make those fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh character that you're dying for. You're not going to get that. And they gave that before everybody else. Um, so, you know, no one else has Nappa coming out. But they got Nappa coming out. I want a damn Nappa for SH figure art. We're not going to get his ass. But they got one coming out. So, yeah, Ricky man, Austin, uh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Twitch Prime. So, fuck like inscription. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I mean. Man, I want to get in game aiming. Oh, oh yeah, that's my thing. That's what I'm trying to do too. I'm trying to get some Twitch gaming on oh, in my yeah. life. Yeah, I want to. Uh, I want. I want to watch you play like first person soldiers and just get like real competitive. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find some partners. I got uh, Ricky Mother. Uh, not Ricky. Um, Ricky Atkinson. Ricky Austin. I got RJ. He's like my other little buddy that I'm gonna start doing stuff with. So that's actually a thing that I want to do. Um, even if it's the app game, whatever. I play Clash Royale. I play all these other games, but I want to do it here on Twitch. Because yeah. I already do my stuff on YouTube, and it's a different community on Twitch. I I, uh, I have a blast st streaming on Twitch. Recently, it wasn't until like yesterday, we had more viewers on Twitch than we did on YouTube. And we're cutting neck and neck right now with 8 and 10. Uh, I got the subs going on. I've gotten to, I think I need 6 more subs. And then I get another emote, which is actually going to be my Funko Pop emote, guys. I got the Funko Pop emote of myself. Um, I just actually paid for it to get put together. My first one I had to pay for, but the other ones are pending. So, you know, you get to be a sub, you get some emotes, you get to do stuff. I'm having fun with doing it. So if you're down, I'm flocking down. If any of you guys, too, uh, down, you guys want to play some games, uh, we can do that. And I even set up a little thing that if you watch enough, uh, from a long enough time, you can recommend games. You can play with uh, play with me if you get up enough points. So I'm not a fucking blast, as you can tell on Twitch. I can go on and on with this. 
dude yeah it's just like set up set up for people like continue to continue to grow grow their con content and there's like it's like you're also like getting like in like a lot like the more people interact with you the more people that sub the more people that join the right. the, the streams and stuff like they're they have a good plan like Man. they have a small you know, and like since they've changed it to where you have to hit like that thousand threshold yeah before anything even really matters it feels like forever to get there and then i know talking to channels that are like ten thousand plus i feel like ten ten thousand took ever to get there there oh it takes forever so the uh like the that. first thousand's Win. a bitch getting yeah. it set getting a two thousand is even worse i swear to god getting a two thousand <laughs> i couldn't give away my house i couldn't give away <laughs> I gave away every damn Pokemon card. Uh, I had a DS. I was giving out whatever I could. I was giving shit to Bearded Pop Hunter. I gave shit to FM McGinnis. I'm giving Flock Bigfoots across the goddamn nation. And guess what? <laughs> I still couldn't get the two fucking thousand subscribers. It was so hard. It was so fucking hard. 5,000 to 10,000, much easier. 10,000, 11, easy. It wasn't until you hit 10,000 that you're like, all right, I know what I'm flocking doing. And then I kind of backfired on my ass, and I went back to one of my things. One of my goals for 2019 was not to do unboxing videos. And all yeah. I thought I could do is <laughs> unboxing <laughs> videos. <laughs> I have it in my book. I wrote, do not do in 2019 unboxing videos. You suck, Cletus. It says it. YouTube, I figured out the secret sauce. And one of it says, do not do unboxing videos. I got the shit written down. Motherfucker, I can't, I, I'll keep my unboxing videos. It's only Twitch now. Twitch and YouTube. Fuck me, guys. I fucked up. I suck. Like your video. I unbox this thing. I want it to have its own video. I got a thing from RJ. I want to make its own video. I got a hot toy. I want to make its own video. I got a yeah. shitty box from fanatics i want to make its own video i flocking can't stand it because i just want to be like hey look i got something i tell you guys look i got a video here i did a trade with this gentleman da 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 talk about a story about it these motherfuckers hate it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah man. sometimes it's like that like that though searching for for contents or ideas just trying to make videos enter entertaining sometimes sometimes the collectors like you and my and my you know I get a lot of stuff in in a week, and it's gonna sit there for a while. You know, I I I've got <sighs> people don't understand this. Look at this, just me. Like, let's 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 just do this. So we got so we got let's say okay. All right, say man. This has been here for what two weeks? I've got, Easily. I've got S H figure yards Falcon. Falcon, here. beautiful figure. Anybody would want him. S H figure yards. And man and wasp. wasp. Two pack. That's pretty good. They made a two pack. I've got this big mother flocker. Oh, hoo, 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 now you got the Anthony. I've had this since October. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty old. <laughs> yeah. like... <laughs> and then you gotta find another thing is so you get the mother flocker, and now you gotta find a place to put the goddamn thing. So I kind of don't want to unbox it at all. Yep. At all. But uh, the one thing I noticed was somebody left a comment on one of my last videos that they were actually happy that I actually unboxed like the uh, the Ghost Rider I picked up. So I'm like. I always unbox it after I do the video. But I didn't know you guys actually wanted to see the actual figure. <laughs> I thought you guys like seeing me just open the mother flocker up. Look what I got for mail. Here it is in the screen. I end the video. I go sit on the couch for like an hour and a half and I'm playing with the mother flocker. I had no idea anybody wanted to see me actually playing with the damn thing. And I yeah, did that. I've gotten those comments where... Uh... Like I'll put hunt video, video, cause I that's how I got I got started. I was oh I'm gonna do toy hunting videos. Like I'm You're doing it anyway. Why not post it, right? Yeah. Well, and then I'll go, you know, I'll edit the video, I'll cut cut the video, I'll come back to my house, I'll be like, all right guys, this is like our pick pickups, and then I'll real realize I don't put those fig figures. Like I don't really show them. I'm just like, here's the box. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll be like, okay, let's push up, push up, upload. And then, you know, the comments will be, you know, hey, hey, why don't you take it out? I wanted to see a detailed semi review of you of it. And I, I suck at, suck at reviews. So I don't take it yeah, out. Yeah, it's an, that's another skill too. But even uh, like, at least with Funko Pops, it kind of gave me like a getaway. Like you get away for free. Like, hey, here's the pop. There's nothing to see. Yeah. <laughs> now, 
the one where it's like nothing. Like, yeah, and then you know, I just went hunting all day. I want to shoot this video and get done with you. Hey, look, guys, this is what I got. Sometimes you'll see a video. It's like I sh- I went hunting, and then like two days later, you'll see like a different outfit on me. I'm like, guys, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I gotta have to take a break. I'm done. For me to unbox it and play with it, I want to sit in there and just purge in it and enjoy myself and just b- my alone time with the figure. I love sitting on the couch, punky watching TV, and I'm just sitting there playing with him, getting him in his stances, putting on his thing, playing with this. Yeah. Hey, punky brat. How you doing, girl? She over the at home. She's watching this mother flocker. <laughs> uh, hey, by the way, uh, uh, chat, um, I, I, those of you who are watching on YouTube, YouTube or possibly Twitch and switched over to YouTube, thank you so much. I think I've actually gained like three or four, uh, four subscribers. So look at that. Yeah. That only cost you forty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Make sure to pay PayPal. You ever had us, Cletus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Adam Frey, what's going on? Um, how you doing, buddy? Team, uh, who else there? What did uh? I do believe that SH Figure Arts will eventually make a kid go t- uh, go ten. And trunks, oh, yeah. Oh, oh God, I hope so. If if they don't have two pointingers to freaking in fusion, I swear to God. <laughs> Demon- <laughs> Demon- I'm, I'm coming for you, for you. Yeah, and then uh, Robert Kinzel comes in. I'm stuck at one thousand for like a year now, but I've given up since they started at four thousand hours. That's how I lost my partnership because of watch time minutes. You can just do the live stream to get the watch time minutes, and trust me, guys. I'm telling you right, flocking now. I have never taken a single dollar out of my... I didn't even set up my YouTube account to take money out. It's there, but I just was like, I'm not even finished. This is a joke. I make $4 a day on YouTube. I make four flocking dollars a day. I unbox a $250 figure in each video. Minimum. 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 $250. I take YouTube as... I'm sharing show and tell every single day with you guys. Look what I got. This is what I'm going to give you. It sucks. There's no money in this mother flocker. Yeah, Punky going tanning. <laughs> Unless you're a viral video or you're a million yeah. plus. I'm trying to get... But the one thing that I don't have compared to like getting my channel seen is... So Jedi Patrol, he has like two videos that have over 100,000 views. He has one video that's like almost a... 250,000 views that oh, yeah. of a collecting video. I have a video. It's a half a million views, but it's a gaming channel. So if you go look at my video or my channel, it comes up as a gaming flocking channel and it doesn't come as like a, a entertainment channel. It comes up as gaming. Uh, Jedi bought dwarves. I almost bought those dwarves and out of all the dwarves he bought Lady Draco, my favorite ones are the actual Dragons from San Diego Comic Con for Game of Thrones. I actually would have bought those, but I forgot. <laughs> I, I bought those too. Those are the only orbs I have. Yeah, I would. Uh, I actually, and I have the Looney Tune ones I got from Emerald City Comic Con. If I got it for did free, you, I like them. Did you get the wolf from uh, Funko Shop this week? Nah, I forgot to set my timer. It's been off for like six months now. You got yeah. the dragon dorbs. The dragon dorbs are great. I thought I thought those were kind of decent. That's a decent idea. Like it makes sense. sense. Yeah, I like them. Um, I would have got them, but the only thing that sucks, you know, it's just with paint jobs. It was just a flocking. It was a flocking paint. Job. Every single one was the exact same, but it was painted differently. I'm flocking real. They should have been flocked. Yeah. Punky, uh, have a great night too, honey. I'll see you. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, I think the only other thing, uh, Funk Funko wise, that I'll be hunting is the, the metallic Night King. AT&T exclusive. Are you waiting for that mother flocker? I ain't touching that thing. I'm <laughs> selling all my Game of Thrones pops. Um, but it's not my name, main collection. Now, Jedi Patrol, he's selling all his Game of Thrones pops. That's oh, not... Is, is that, that, that That's wrong. He should not be selling those. That's his. That's like me oh, selling my Star Wars yeah. collection. That's wrong. He I talked mean, about I, selling his thing. I don't think he should be doing that. If he does, he's a sellout. Yeah, yeah that's been... That's been his. His name from the start. Yeah, people so, send him stuff. You unboxing all them. That everybody knows him. He sells that. You know he's selling out, and uh, that's not right. Um, Robert Kinzel, I already know you feeling on that one. How much I spent on Pokemon cards, I'll never get back from YouTube. But my channel is just to show off the stuff I like. Yeah, the shiz I like or the shell I like. Uh, Pokemon cards. 
from 2019, 2018, 2017. Shiz. Ever since Sun and Moon came out, I'm never touching on Pokemon yeah. cards, man. I bought those Shining ones. You saw me doing that. But besides that, <sighs> uh, opened boxes of that stuff is the worst. It is the flocking worst. You know, you spend $50 on a box. So if you buy a whole box for 100 bucks, it sucks, you know. I'm talking about oversaturated market. I can't even get rid of 10,000 freaking open up cards. Just commons. I can't get rid of 10,000 of them. I don't know what to do with them. Dude, you got you got to see this. I don't know if it's going to gonna come up really well. Hold on, well. let me switch. But oh, my this. God. That's what I was going to ask you. Look at that. I can see it. Um, are you getting my buddy, those? Buddy, getting the, my buddy's getting getting that. That's fucking dope. Wait, who did you get it from? Lawless? Uh, no, 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 no. So this is a guy out in uh, I, I can tell you real quick. Is they is they got out in? I'm buying that. He's in Spain. Um, that's, that's I'm not buying that. Straight to your door. It took how, him how much? Hundred. How? Six hundred. Three hundred. Ah, uh, three hundred dollars ship. That's fixed. I've seen Lawless pays three uh, three hundred too. Yeah, yeah, but that's epic. Like, and I mean, to use like real straw, and I mean, holy crap. Yeah, I bought a. Uh, I just bought a dial for like forty bucks. Or a guy who's just like, take my shit. I hate you. Oh, this is a better picture of it. This is a way, way better. But you can see the detail. Wow. Ah, uh, definitely hit me up with that. I'm definitely picking that motherfucker up. Cause that's my next question for you. I'm surprised you're not into it yet. Is the dioramas for the detox shelves ish to put I've been, on? I've been, I've been a slow, slow start dios. But they they look so like you. I'm I'm trying to break them up in series. You know, I got my Dragon yeah. Ball. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Freezer stuff. All that stuff. Trying to break that up. Um, yeah. The, the, yeah. All that. Stuff, I'm trying to break them up in each one. Yeah, that's not how. So, so if I could take you guys through the through the collection, I'll I will put out a collection video pretty soon. Uh, so stay tuned to my channel for that because it's gonna it's gonna be an epic. I'm gonna try to different different than a lot of YouTubers, but but it's gonna be a collection video. This is how I do mine. You ever see mine? But yo, this is all the shit I got. Look, Look. here's a, here's a box. <laughs> I show him a box. I go in that box. It's like 15 boxes of pops. And there's a hundred of them. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I can't show you this shit. Are you crazy? So I think I got. So I have a collection video right now on my channel, um, and even that one I think I think is a little bit different because like the like the way I set collection is always always in scenes. Like for me for me what looks me as collector is the scene. I want to re the scene, the moment, you know, the thing that I watched that I fell in love with. And so when I do these displays and I do the posing, I'm I'm trying to cap that same scene scene. And so when I show show my display, I play this this scene right after it. Try to do it to where I don't. Ah, I got you. Yeah, so, you throw twenty but, seconds of it on or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so my first collection video, that's what I've got done. So I've actually play, played the scene behind each one of the, one of the, the detox dis displays. Right now, right now I'm looking at backdrops because I'm actually into back backdrops. Like you can do like the like the images. I seen a guy does hot toy backdrops. His things called like hot toy backdrops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from England, I think, I think. Or something. I've looked into them, to those. They're crazy. I, I want to do it myself. Self. I right. Myself. I'm with you on that. The diorama, at least, not the backdrops. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could do it for super cheap. But um. But yeah, that would be my option. Um. So. We should do it. Me and you should do a, a live stream. <laughs> Like yeah. it's flocking lots of gramps in this mother flocker. <laughs> we get our little freaking foam out, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Right, me yeah. and Danny, we're going to do our little dios today. We got an hour of class. I doubled in some custom, custom figures. Like before they they, they released that, uh, uh, that dress super trunks, the one that just came out. Yeah, I like that one. I, I custom my old trunks, like stupid of me. I had like five of those, those older trunks. Not like, like the OG, but premium colors. Yep. I had I had like at least five of them, so I took two two of them. I custom them out. I paint, I painted the, the the Dragon Ball Super color. I airbrushed it and stuff. So so I died out a bit. Nothing crazy though. I'm not, nothing like uh, Fernando. Yeah, those motherfuckers uh, are just off the charts. Come yeah, on, yeah, they put those, shading on shading on shading. Yeah. They got a whole new body on a whole new head. I don't, what oh, what yeah. part of the body? Whose figure did you grab that off of? They're like we custom made it out of plastic. I'm Oh, we'll show you one figure. I'm gonna grab it real quick. Quick. That. What up, nerd crew? Uh, 
Yeah, Joan. That is crazy. Three dollars for a... four for three each on hot tips. <laughs> One figure that I really regret buying, um, is it's just this kind of crappy figure. But it's the SH figure it's Infinity War cap. But yeah. if you have a, some head sculpt on him, I don't it, know if this will pick up. I seen a little bit it came in real quick. Show us your makeup. This is what Punky says. It's like showing makeup. Oh, this is my new mascara. <laughs> he looks dope. He looks clean as fuck. Yeah, this is a custom head sculpt. And so, so with this figure, like I literally had to like warm up the arms. I had to deconstruct the arms because the skin color was different skin tone. Oh, okay. Because like, you got a custom head. Yep. And the neck. So the kit, the kit this guy sent me was like custom hands, custom arms, custom neck, neck. But he looks great now. He looks, I mean, in person, this this is probably one of the most, most impressive one twelve scale, scale head sculpts. Like they even shine in the on the eyes, like hot do. Wow, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I just don't see me picking like, like, I'd rather just have like the the hot toy, like because I had the hot toy version of that, right? I know. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, that's not a problem right now. I have one twelve, twelve, and one scale. Yeah, you're flocking up right now. You yeah, just, I would even collect them Marvel figures. Keep it to Hot Toys. Yeah. Right? Just do it. That's why I, I gave up Pops. I don't, I don't know. 20000 now. I said, I'm done. I'm not doing no more. I haven't bought any since. Except, like, I bought the Thor because it was a comic book version. I don't have a comic book one. But, oh, yeah, that one. but, you know, for you to go collect all those SH figure arts at the 112 scale and then yeah. go buying them, uh -huh. you're just overkilling yourself. You're just draining it. You just drain in it, drain it. And every single size scale is just crazy, and that's I think that that's what's so crazy about collecting run right now. Like you literally can do that to yourself, and I've done, done yeah. that myself so many, many, many of times. I have, I have three, three hot, hot toys, toys. Three. I have the Infinity War. One. I have the uh, the, uh, the Road War one, which we talked about earlier, and then and I have the uh, Thor Rag Ragnarok one, the Gladiator. One. Yeah, I don't have that one. Yeah. Because I don't have so, that one, I'm giving away. Uh, I'm giving away my my Hulk Gladiator when we hit when oh, we hit yeah. Prime so, Partner. So, uh, um, if I didn't have the Hulk, Hulk, be get getting out getting out the door for sure. Yeah, I um, do you have the Hulk? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I have him. Don't show me it. Don't show me it. Don't show. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you have it just like I have him. I, I yeah. well, I actually took him out of that box. <laughs> But uh, right. I couldn't find the road, uh, the the Gladiator, the Lux one. So I was like, you know what? I'll give this mother flock away. It's three or four hundred bucks. It's just a ship that thing's like thirty dollars. Sucks. So I'm uh, giving that mother flock away. I'm a shipping today. Today I'm shipping that uh, Hot Toys uh, War War Machine. I think the shipping was like twenty bucks. Just just I just paid for the label. I was like, ow, oh, twenty Ugh. bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks is pretty cheap. You know, anything over that is even worse. I gotta ship oh, yeah. out uh, Deadpool 13. If anybody won at Deadpool 13, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. We are officially done with that. And uh, do you guys want to open up some of them? I don't know. Do we want to open up some Deadpool 13 stuff? So this is stuff that people won, and we don't know oh, what they actually awesome. got. Maybe I'll do a live stream tomorrow of it. Of just open up Deadpool 13 stuff. Like, look what we got. That uh, well, was the uh, what the 711 exclusive that that one of the guys won? Yeah, I kind of believe that motherfucker won that one. That I was the best that. one. You found that in store? Uh, no. I, sh sh we don't have 7-Elevens around me. Around me. Oh, so I, was, I found I like, no, five or six that. of those mother flockers in Buffalo. <laughs> oh. I went crazy for that thing. I was going to hunt it, but I stayed away from Deadpool collecting also. Like, I got the Good man. And that, was, and that was about it. Good. Um, that's why I got rid of all these, because I bought them all originally the first series. And I said, when the next movie comes out, I want to sell them. And I was like, you know what? Instead of selling them, I'll do a little raffle on my game channel or whatever. And that's how I got rid of them. And I'm glad. I got it for 25 bucks piece. Basically what they they retailed at. And I had the 7-Eleven one in there that was valued around 70 bucks at the time. So that was, uh, man, that was that was flocking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like my Game of Thrones, I've been marinating. I've been marinating them. Game of Thrones pops. Those those mother flockers are getting marinated and getting out of my life. I'm even selling my headless Ned Stark. I've made up my mind. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna sell that mother flock. I'm not gonna get them graded. I'm just gonna get them sold. Probably about three thousand dollars. I'm selling that mother flocker for three thousand dollars. I paid seven hundred bucks for him. So I'm ready to get rid of him. 
Uh, I don't see no rehype for them. I don't see anything valuable. I think the hype of them is going to be now. Uh, Suicide Squad 2 comes out. I am selling that entire fucking series. I own them all. Worst movie on the planet. One of the worst of them, at least. I can't even get past it. I, I fall asleep deep. I tried three or four times. It's worse than the Hulk movie. Uh, I only watched, watched it once. Watched it a second, second time. I couldn't <laughs> even get through it. <laughs> I couldn't get through that motherfucker. But I'm yeah. selling those. Mo- so... Uh, the Toy Story pop, uh, that little alien thing. That oh, I sold them. I sold them right away. Yeah, that's uh, that's Funko screw, screwing up there. Yeah, I sold that mother flocker in three minutes on the on the Instagram. <laughs> right, yeah. I sold them three. I said, "Who want them?" I, you know, <laughs> I put it. You know, he's, he's retail at two hundred bucks. I said, "I'll give you yep. one eighty free shipping and pop stacks." Sold. Yeah, that's a good deal, but like, that's what I'm always afraid of, afraid of, like, people re-releasing things and coming out with premium color things. And... Yeah, that's why you gotta go with the, uh, the exclusives, or the, not even some exclusives even get shit on. You gotta go yeah. with Comic-Con stuff, or yeah. you gotta go with the numbered ones. Anything that's numbered from the con, you know, you're good. Because the shared shit, that's gonna be in pop culture system next year, a uh, couple months. You be like, oh, look. I need this yep. pop that I missed out on. Oh, guess what? It's in the pop culture system and it's not restricted anymore. Motherfucker. And so many of the new collectors, like, they don't realize, realize that they get into it and they're thinking, they're thinking oh, this is going to be worth X amount of dollars. Oh, yeah. Dollars. They don't understand. For it, for it, and then they for like making $5. And I'm like, like how would you get all that work for $5? Bucks? Oh, these people are crazy. These people are the worst because they're, they're full blown flippers. So. For me, I have a limit now. I've always kind of had a limit. Three, four years, if it doesn't go up, and I haven't taken it out of this box, it's like a piece of, uh, it's like laundry in the house, clothing. If I don't wear that shit in a year and it's still sitting in the house or two years, that needs to go out into donation. Now, my Pokemon collection was like that. I was up to four, three, four years with that. Boom. Whatever didn't go up in value, I got rid of them mother flockers, and I'm still selling them out. I still got about 1200 bucks worth of stuff. Listed yep. for sale, trying to get them out of there. Oh, I'm just, I don't want to sit around now. Now, the Funko Pop thing, I kind of was grandfathered in. Uh, same thing with some of you guys, majority of you guys, if you started collecting uh, well, even before last year. You know, we were able to go get an exclusive, and knowing that exclusive wasn't going to be remade over and over again and reproduced, this was before San Diego Comic Con, before Corporate Funko came into place, that we were able to pick that pop up. And whatever it was, take three, four months, you know, it's going to be worth 20 bucks, 35 bucks, 60 bucks within a year. Now, way the, the way they produce them now, that year, it's going to cut it down to 30 bucks to $25. So for me to store that same exact figure in my collection, where it was used to be at $60, is now at $25, I'm not playing that game. And that's going to be the highest valuable one that's very hard to get yep, now. Yep. I'm not playing that flocking game and their restocking on the hot topic has completely ruined the entire market uh, that's when I was known I was basically done collecting um, for value with Funko out of buying in bulk and not just buying the one for myself all right I bought a one for myself boom I'm good I'm not gonna wait around the years and years there's gonna be one stud in there right there's gonna be a stud in there every once in a while you know, the Funko Theory bullshit. There's going to be one stud that they can't get. And guess what? He'll go up in value, but I'm not going to be stuck with all those other ones at all. Whew. I am very, uh, I get a little dramatic on those. <laughs> no, I, I, I completely agree 100% with what you have there. Uh, um, it makes no sense. Like, like, and I've only been collecting for, for a year, and I've already realized that. Uh, yeah. Two that's different worlds. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm narrowing, I'm narrowing down, you know, my collection, collection focusing on, on pieces that I really want, and, and then the pieces that I think are just, just really cool, go up in value, value. Yeah, I buy one or one or two of them. I'm trying to, trying to hoard them, you know? Right, right. But you're trying to get the, and you're getting good stuff, too, because, uh, you know, yeah. the, the, uh, the Game of Thrones, I mean, not Game of Thrones, the Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops, you know, they, they're, the commons are worth nothing. You, yeah. No. You, the hottest one was the one that you got. The two that you got. Yeah, yeah. Besides those two, I just did a review on it. I didn't even post it because it was so bad. Everything was worth $10. I was like, what the hell? Every common besides those two and there was one other one. I was like, this is the shizziest line. And then I go to the, the comic book shop. They're all sitting on the shelf. I said, oh, my God. Yeah. 
Yeah, it feels there for a long, long time. These last two waves that are coming out, a lot of those follow will sit forever and they won't, won't be more than $8. Right. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So, USA, um, once we, if we had 30 viewers on Twitch, we'll do a giveaway. So, yeah. Um, unflocking. Yeah. So, I'm trying to build it up. You got to do it correctly, right? You got to do the shit and strategizing. So, to get a sub button, you need 75 av average viewers. That's the only thing I have left. I've done all the streaming stuff. Uh, I have three of the four uh, goals and objectives done. It's how fun. Remember we were talking about it before? Yep. How they keep you sucking you in? I got three of the four objectives <laughs> done on this yep. mother flocker. You're so the, the only, the only prestige. one, what's really going on? <laughs> what were you saying? I said about to prestige, which is like old school uh, uh, Call of Duty. Yeah. Super once you hit like the 50th level or whatever <laughs> I'm trying to get to that level so to do that you need an average of 75 viewers on here once we get that and I get them a partnership I'm giving away a, a Hulk but that's like they just keep sucking in same thing with the uh, the subs you know you get your first 15 subs you get a second emote so I got the two emotes and then I hit 25 um, I think the next one's at 25 subs we're at 19 now so I already got like my little emo ready. I'm all pumped up and excited. One, two of them are pending. And I'm like, ah, and they just keep you wanting to keep making you more do stuff, especially starting out. You want to make those emotes. I know in like a year or so, I'm like, I fucking hate emotes. But you know, in the hype of it and building it, it's fun. Yeah, Let me know if you that. I'd even put that video up on uh, Joan. I, I didn't put that second part up in that video. Um, how you? What are the chances of uh, you being a Lord of the Ring fan and I post a Lord of the Ring video? On sale where? What are you looking for? Orj, Orj pajamas. Um, my my Barnes and Noble just restocked uh, the Phil Baggins Chase, the glow in the dark, the dark Chase. Six of them flocking things. Man, I collected collected three of them the last like month, like month because they restocked them. Oh no, my, my God, no, we pop hunt over there. Yeah. yeah. Jones looking for one of them. Jones looking for one of them. She want to. So what we? It. I need it. <laughs> Hit him up, Danny Killinger. Hit him up. <laughs> hit him up. Um, all right, so let's see what we talked about before we talk about a giveaway. I mean, a trade. Ah, the pressure's <laughs> on. Hey, I was actually um, I was surprised how cheap I actually got that uh that Sun Goku for. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I paid ninety bucks for that mother flocker. Sealed. Yeah. It was. It was... Ninety sealed. Hey, that's a good deal because that's so that's a web exclusive. That's just like Goku Black, Black okay. Kiyosu, it's a web exclusive, meaning they'll never make that ever again. So, so it's not like, yes, yeah, so they're not common or anything. So it was funny too because we had that little conversation, me and him were going back and forth. I was going to trade him two pops for that one. And then, I, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I probably went through 50 deals since then. You know, I do three, four deals a day and shit. It's just hassling, right? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like what? What thing? Send me that figure you sold. You were trying to get after me. I'm like, dude, I just bought that thing, and I bought it a lot too. The guy had, uh, he actually had another one, another figure, but I already had it. He wanted uh, the one figure that I had. It was only yeah. valued at like forty five or fifty bucks. He wanted seventy five for it. I was like, Jesus. oh, seventy bucks for it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'll take the other ones though, cause the other ones I can get this shit off of Amazon. Um, they look good. That's Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Um, I think what you got with, with it, right? Super yeah, I'm Blue. glad I, he came out of the box too because you know that the red one, he got the goddamn tape on. And I don't want to. At Ultimate Gohan, I got too. Is flocking amazing. I unboxed it yesterday. You didn't see it, but it was uh, I thought it was fake after the today. I look at it I was like this motherfucker. <laughs> this thing is too. It's too minty. It's too mint. Yeah. Uh, it was too minty. But then I did my research. I said, "All right, the mother flock is real." Yeah, don't fake those toe figures. The little silver toe figure there. That's that's an authenticity steer. Mm -hmm. They don't fake those. Uh, uh, but they're 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 fake. Really bad. That's the thing. I think I think yours oh. are fake. Really, really no. bad. Dragon Which Ball Z is fake. They're funny. funny. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. That's one thing I noticed on all toy collectibles. Dragon Ball Z is worldwide fake. I guess because it's so popular in Japan. Yeah. Statue and oh my god, my god, the statues are so fake, fake. Really? I didn't even know they made fake statues. They're, well, so there's a huge statue, like the resins, and people will fake, fake those and got like PVCC and all that sort of material. Jesus. Yeah. 
So I, I always look if figures and stuff. I, I do the Fig Yard Zero statues sometimes. Those are kind of cool. Um, I got the one uh, that Phil Vicky sent me. Uh, the Goku up top here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like the the Fig Yard Zero Zeros. The same scale of scale as, um, but like it, the the lights them. They like shine. Like the actual figure just lights up. Wow. Like just because the they're like translucent, like the hair's translucent. Uh, they just came out with a Broly one that looks amazing. Yeah, I've seen some people posting it. Oh, I'm keeping the figure arts. Oh, I got the event exclusive. I knew that mother flock. You got that one, obviously. I was oh, able yeah. to get it afterwards. I went. I went to uh, to uh, Dallas uh, Fan Days last last year, which one of the stops first for uh, the team. Uh, the, so I was able to pick pick up. I had the SDCC version of Vegito. I was able to pick up those and, those and the event exclusive. Oh, I didn't get to San Diego. I went to, I'm the only one the flock and I went to San Diego Comic Con. And bit nothing but funk. I bought like five. I brought home like $5,000 worth of pops. But I didn't know about all the other shits. Like, I didn't uh, know about SH Figuarts or NECA. Any of that for stuff. Nine years now. <laughs> if you, you all collected in 2011, you would have, you would have a dollar figure in your career. I would have thousands. I'd be, I would have, especially me. I would have hoarded the flock out of it. If I was collect 2011, I'd be the most wealthiest mother flocker in yeah. toys. I'm like, I'm getting. If you had a mint, mint condition 2011 SNS TTC Super Saiyan Goku Goku right now, if it was if it was mint condition, thousand bucks all day, it was a fifty dollar figure at the at the con. It's the first big yard. It's the first San Diego Comic Con, and it's the Grail of the Grails in the line. That's Grail of Grails for SH figure arts. I got a Darth yeah. Maul over here. You know, right? they, yeah. they, they worth three thousand dollars. They only go three or four up a year. You know, that uh, that Goku actually comes up more frequently than I would ever expect on it's eBay. Fake a lot. Fake a lot. A lot of fake lots. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, you gotta look for, look for a specific bar. bar I'll hit you up when I'm looking for one. Cause I'll yeah. buy them. I just don't yeah. wanna. All if those. I didn't collect Hot Toys, I would have probably bought all those. But I bought damn Hot Toys, so I had it even it all out. I'm like, yeah, oh. I'm like, look, yeah. I, I would have posted a video like, I bought every SH figure out in one month. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I was trying to do, man. When I was collecting and got that first one in April, I, I think by the May, I had I had 20 years at least. At least. Yeah, I bought 50 fucking... <laughs> You want the same thing. You understand yeah. me. Let's get married. Let's and just so, do it. And, and so, so I was telling you, we lived in a one one bedroom apartment. Like, I, like I was displaying them on my TV, TV stand. I had no de dedicated space. I had no detail. I wasn't collecting toys. Like, I was buying 20, 30 of these figures and, like, just displaying them all over the house, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what my girlfriend did to me. But, but, you know, two, three years later now, Girlfriend looks at me. I'm going to post office. That big ass smile. I can't believe. How did you do that? I wish I knew about this. I wish yeah. I knew about this. I said, "Shut up, shut up." You busted my chop the whole time, but you let me <laughs> buy them. And uh, she, she, she's like, "You just know." I'm like, "I know. I knew which ones to get. I knew which ones to pick up." Yeah. And it feels good, yo. And uh, all that wasted space and all that time and energy that went into it. I don't care what anybody says. I'm selling my flock and things, and nobody's giving me. Anything about that, mother flocker. Ah. When, the, when the time comes, that uh, uh, it's like you know, if you ever decide like to go house shopping, I know in your area it's not like our area, but the way that I was I was able to get room behind me and me is she had to have her own her own room, just the same size. Same size. Oh shit! Yeah. She's got her own office. I have my own office. We have like a mutual movie room. And yeah. How much is your mo How much is your rent? Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's like nine fifty bucks. <laughs> so it's a five bedroom, three bedroom, three and a half bathroom house. Like we we, we bought on New Year's and got an amazing deal, like a, like a steel deal. Uh, I'm a real estate license too, too. So I kind of negotiate some things into the house, but Arkansas is all really compared to like the, the New York real estate is like whole nother level. I mean, I know. <laughs> I have a buddy that lives in uh, right outside of Manhattan, pays twenty nine hundred hundred dollars for a bedroom. I pay two thousand dollars a month for one bedroom <laughs> on Long Island. Yeah, man, I, it, it's totally different. We it's got so a goddamn washer dryer. We are so pumped up. It's off the <laughs> charts. We got one in our apartment. 
I can't believe it. This is the biggest thing that we've ever seen in our life. We have a goddamn washer dryer. He has a five bedroom house with toys and figures and oh my. David, if you just want to move, you know, to the Midwest where your dreams go to fail. Um, I, but you, my dreams wouldn't though, cause I go to training. I go to training camp, guys. I go to training camp and I just do YouTube <laughs> shit. Punk is a damn nurse. Yeah, all you gotta do is landlock yourself, and then your real estate goes down. So if you're <laughs> surrounded not by by water, your land land be affordable. <laughs> Man, and then I'll be the that won't be the only Cletus in town. Hey, that's all right. Four There's ten. The hell's there. wrong with you people? But that's the thing, like Texas, you know, Texas got some good real estate. Like if you live in live in the middle of Texas, you you can find like gyms for the for the price of you know a normal normal house. City. Yeah, but I don't want to go to just the Walmart. I want to go to all. I go to Target this way. I go to Target that way. I go to, I go to Highway. I never go to the city, but ah, man, that's crazy. You guys are crazy with them prices. So let's get back to our trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we we'll see what's going on because I got four pops that he definitely wants and he got figures that I want but I don't want to give up my stuff and he probably feeling the same way it's like you know dealing same. with boom, boom, boom. <laughs> dealing with the hammer I I'm I'm, I'm like a, a trade I like to trade certain ways and I gotta really think about stuff and I gotta put my stuff together man. Only Dragon Ball Z, right? Is that my Hero Academia? I got a lot of pops. There you go. You not into Bruce Lee? <laughs> Disney? I got some Disney pops. Your girlfriend would be so happy you came home with a new uh, Edna. Edna E. Mode. She was like 350, you know? But we don't collect pops to go to Universal or. <laughs> now you don't, you don't got to collect them. You just, just watch them. You just look at them on your shelf. You know, those are good pops. I got some Game of Thrones pops. You're looking for. Uh, who we got? Beyond the Wall, Jon nah. Snow. <laughs> uh, no, no, I see, and that's the thing. Like, like I've only picked up ones I could get here for retail. You know. Well, these what retail value is at 2019 on the. See, like that, that's the thing. I'm trying to trade my retail for your retail value. Hopefully, we're close to two. Yeah, I yeah, I got you. I got you. And that's that's the, that's the main thing. Like, I mean, I mean, for me, I'm like. I never want to pay for something, but if I, if I have something full value you or, or a little bit, bit greater, you know, make it good, good on both ends. That's the thing. Yeah. Seriously, if I could, if I could tell you, you're the first, first technical strange stranger I've ever actually done a trade with online. Well, you get to yeah. see me every day. I don't know what you're talking about. Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got it. It's tough to, I don't trade. I trade with Pop Collector 101, uh, RJ, like less than a handful of people ever. Yeah. And I own so many figs, right? I had a couple of bros that I traded once with, but I mean, I mean, not really ever talking to somebody and then trading online because that happens all the time. They're like, "Hey, you interested for trades?" I'm like, "Don't do it." Nah, I make these more flock of trade. I boy, I got these Necker turtles, the uh, black and white ones, mm -hmm. somewhere over here. <laughs> It's an A fan, A's Jake. They're on TV. Um, I told the mother flocker the guy had such a good deal. He said, you take my Ninja Turtles black and white ones from New York Comic Con, and I will give, uh, and I'll give him the new NECA Turtles from Target. I said, no flock and white, his mother flock is real. He had a post up. I said, hey, I, I'll do it, but I'm only doing it this way. I'm, you send me that first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I would do, do it. And then I sent them out. I said, I sent, I already got the box packaged up. This is going out next day. Here's all my, uh, here's my whole resume. You want to ask somebody? I'm. This is who I am. Only way, and that's the only real trade I did with a stranger. Whew. Yeah. But uh, that Joseph Black dude that I bought the Deadpool, I sent him uh, 200 bucks, friends and family, because I just bought the Ghost Rider from him. Yeah, he actually. Uh, yeah. yeah. Multiple business. That's how I am. Like multiple business, probably not gonna screw me. So. Yeah, I, I just sent charge fam, friends and family. He actually reached out to me uh, like uh, two weeks earlier. Asked if I knew this boxer, just like. Random message from just a random dude. I'm like, um, hello? No, I don't know him. And then that was the end of the conversation. But I had a message him for his stuff. And he had some good deals and good stuff, man. But it's actually been almost two flocking hours, folks. It's supposed to be an hour stream. But you can see as we're doing it. Chat shitting for a while. It's called uh, Funko. Uh, it's called Collecting uh, Hobby People. It's just ridiculous. I can waste 
Four, I'm like, right, let me see your uh, display. Let me, how you pose them. What are you after? So what's your goals for 2019 for YouTube? So you know, YouTube goals, man, I just want to go over the five, five hundreds. Um, um, take it every day. Um, pretty much, I just want to be consistent. Uh, so like I went to a con yesterday, and so I'm currently currently editing a video for the con. con. And then I went hunting hunting yesterday, so I picked up a bunch of bunch of stuff. But I just want to be want to be kind of consistent. My first goal goal is to get go out every every Saturday. Saturday. Um, and, and 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 that's the, you know, my thing is I want I want to I want to put the edit edits into it, put the work into it, into it. I know the music. I want to have a story to tell, so it's really entertaining that sort of thing. Right. So that's my focus right now because I've been I've been I've been like one one video every week, and then I've been one video every month, and I've been doing YouTube for nine months. So, haven't hit the one year mark. I think at one year we're, we're gonna start sin one. And I'm gonna be on that every Saturday grind. Yeah, like that's your grind, right? You shoot yeah, your week, and then Saturday, like for me, I just like to on Sundays, collecting Sundays, mother flock. I take all the pops out. I'm just like boom. Punky Brad says he has a nice uh, display. He pays nine hundred dollars in a five bedroom house with two freaking bathrooms. Where? Uh, Kansas City. Art is art. Kansas City, Cletus Town. Oh, if she's not here, she's in Kansas City, sweetheart. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just gotta get in a routine. Like I said, I, I, like if you're gonna go pop hunting or whatever you're going hunting for, you figure, yep. like you just plan your whole day around it. Like not the whole day, like you know, I'm going hunting that day, and boom. Or what I've seen a lot of people doing recently was they'll go hunting. Like you said, you run into Barnes and Nobles. They'll go record that. And then they go run to another store a couple days later. And next couple of days later, and next couple of days later. And next thing you know, they got like 40 minutes of footage. Mm -hmm. At first, um, as starting out for me was, it was, I thought it was almost impossible to post a video that's less than 30 minutes. Yeah. Like yeah. it was so flocking hard to get a video under 30 minutes. I thought I'd never be able to do it, ever. And then I finally got to 20, and now I just keep it around 10 to 15. But it took me forever, especially when you go hunting, doing those videos. But just if you do that, and then you edit it up, it sucks. Uh, what do you use for edit uh, to edit your software? Uh, I use uh, Adobe. So like I have the Adobe Suite. So I, uh, yeah. Every, I don't want to do any of that shit. I don't want to use Photoshop. I don't want to do anything. I do use Filmora, and I use uh, I like that Popeye spinach. I got that from the from Danny. <laughs> I, uh, and I use um, GIMP and Adobe Spark. Just free shit. I just use free stuff to edit my stuff. Uh, but it works. I'm investing into like quality. Um, I've got a deep camera, but like, like a better camera. What kind of camera you got? Uh, I've got a G6. Uh, okay. Uh, point and shoot. I don't have a SLR. Um, it's kind of next up on my list, but I, I, for me, I have like like this vision, and so like I watch, I watch MKHB, uh, one of the tech review reviewers, and so. so I, for me, I, I see their audio quality, I see their visual quality, and I want to want to recreate in collecting and toy hunting, hunting, and to look, look very cool and just be, be like transition and have, have kind of just some epic, you know, shit to it, you know. And it's just about toys, but it's really cool. Right, to watch. bring it to a different level. Uh, the only problem you're gonna run into there, and I've done the same thing, and it's always, hey, I'm not gonna post this video because it's not there yet. It's not there yet. It's not there yeah. yet. And next thing you know, how... another year goes by, another Saturday goes by, another month goes by, another nine months go by. What, what you should do instead of, and no one's gonna view your videos anyways at the beginning. So if you could just make it and just, all right, this is how I did my videos at first too was, I'm gonna make my shitty video not as shittier next time. So if it's a shitty 10, I'm gonna make it a shitty 9.8 9.7 yeah. till I find my foundation on how I'm going to do everything so I can get to edits and out of my goddamn life so fast. So I would recommend you to do it because no one's going to view those first ones anyways. Just to get a video out there, just do it. Just get it out there. No, say you got a hundred, like that one video, you got a hundred or 200 videos with me and you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 99 of them from you. So it don't even matter, right? <laughs> don't even, it's just. Just throw it up there. Just throw it up there. And it's for you at the end of the day. These videos are for me to look back on. Especially when I do like the value on these pops. I get to go back and go to see how much I paid for them. Because that's what I'll do before I'll make a video on a pop that it's valued. Like, oh, my God, I paid how much? Oh, let me go find a video. Or let me go look at my notes on how much I paid for it. 
and I just keep it on my channel so that I can view it later on. Um, and all those unboxings are get good for me. Those unboxing videos is, hey, this is what I got in mail. I can use this for the rest of my life. No one might not like it, or some people do like it a lot, but I don't care. I just want to just, I bought it. I want to do it and show the world or myself later on. I enjoy that. So just take that concept for all you guys watching. If you're making YouTube videos, just buy, unbox the shit, make whatever video you got, put it on the computer. And over time, once you grow yourself and you hit a certain point, hey, I got to a thousand subs. I really wanted to upgrade my uh, quality a little bit. So every Saturday, I'm going to make sure I put a really good video out. And two of those other videos, I'll keep them the same kind of pace throughout that week. So I'd recommend going with you guys going on that way instead of going hardcore into, like you said, you know, I want to hit this flocking drone shot that comes over the goddamn flying machine of the overbox of the damn Hot Topic view of me coming out of the store. And the, the thoughts and the abilities are, are, are two different things. The thoughts are really there and the ability of time, because we're running out of time with uh, uh, how busy everyone is. It's just not there, you know, it's just not there. So I recommend going with that, boys and girls. Yeah, I appreciate do that, it. man. Do it up. Do it. I want you guys to do it. I enjoy uh, especially watch new YouTubers. Everyone always laughs when I like, I'll comment on their shit. They're like, oh my God, Cletus watched me. I'm like, yeah, I like watching you guys because you're authentic. It's easy to watch you. Yep. Yeah, it's nice and quick and easy. Well, not easy. The videos are pretty long. <laughs> I, also, I also agree with like, you know, you know, when you start a video and they're like, hey, hey, by the way, this is sponsored. By blah, 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 blah. And here's my, my opinion on this product. And I'm like, I'm like, how is that a genuine opinion when you just paid to? Yeah, right. Right, <laughs> like even me when I get um, when I got the vinyl vault or I got the uh, VVGS, they sent oh, me their man. stuff. I didn't unbox it for um, the viewers. I unboxed it for his company to show him what I thought about it. Hey, your box is too big. I don't see any point of this. Maybe you should make a little one. VVGS, your logo sucks. I love your case. One of the best cases I've ever seen. Vaulted vinyl. That box is unflocking real. It's just too big for me. Boom. I heard they're making a smaller one. And VVGS, you know, they're, they're kicking it off. And uh, I didn't make those like a, people like you didn't make a you didn't share this video with sponsors. I was like, I didn't have to. The video wasn't for you. This video was about me giving my opinion on a product and nothing to do with of anything that influenced me. So mm -hmm. that's that. So this video is sponsored by Swivel Tech Technology with their double-sided swivel swivel mess <laughs> what's danny's most valuable toy drew standax Ooh, that's a good question yeah. they're not toy to collectibles it says on the back of the box not a toy yeah yeah so right now now just at the entire collection probably the mark 47 yeah mother flock is off the charts yeah, yeah. that hot toy is mark 47 on funko pop wise everything funko wise uh, uh... I'm gonna steamroll probably, some questions right quick. Probably, see, I, I, I think I haven't went out after any crazy grills. So right now, now if I'm at my highest value, you see, it, it's probably 120 bucks, and I, and I bet it's the oh oh no, I'm sorry, I have a Majin Majin Vegeta pop. I, I have, have, I have signed or unsigned. Well, I I have three and then two two or two are not signed. That's he was cool. I got Did, to meet him in person down in Dallas when he first got, gave those out. Yeah, that's that when back. he came in right after he went to New York Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. I was first line to like to like me. Like, that's that, cool. That's the fan I fan I got the having the pops was just like totally icing on the cake at that point because like like I was going to the Damashi booth. I was gonna get all my exclusive figures and I didn't have to, have to like pay some outrageous. Oh yeah, they had the uh, con yep. I remember that. Yeah, everything. They even had the freaking fighting stage that I just showed you guys in that dio. They had like an actual state built where you could take pictures. So it was awesome to time. But, um, but, but yeah, I got to meet Sabbath. That, that was the first time. And I got the autograph, autograph in person then. So I got him, I got to hear him do the voice impression of uh, Vegeta and Anite, which was cool, cool too. Because he, he voiced it all my off of my Hero, Hero Academia, which is like. Yeah, insane. yeah, it's cool. When I went to uh, New York Comic Con, they gave me, you know, if you ever saw the video, they're just like, I'm like, hey, it's, uh, I'm Cletus. They're like, yeah, we know who you are. They're like, what do you want? I was like, yes. They're like, hey, do you want to sit down and hang out with Savage? I was like, I just got into Dragon Ball Z. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come back in a few hours. I never came back. Oh, I could have sat down damn. and talked with him. I flocked up. I'll probably have an opportunity again. Uh, maybe next year. I don't know. <laughs>
But uh, yeah. they, they let me into the booth and gave me the pops for free and everything. I said, you guys are awesome. Uh, but that's how I got it, at least. I wasn't yeah, as cool as you. I didn't, get I didn't even know who Chris was having one. I was like, oh, that guy over there. I suck, guys. I fucking he's, suck. Uh, he's going to be at the uh, Planet Comic Con that I'm going to Saturday. Okay. Uh, I'm bringing up some some All Might stuff for him to sign, and then I'm really trying to trying to find a glow dark All Might before then. It's yeah, like he's a, a tough one. Right yeah, he's a tough one. It's funny too how you say Grail with Funko Pop. Anything over hundred bucks is basically a Grail for Funko Pop. You know, of course, five ten bucks. You don't say a Hot Toys is a, uh, a Grail for two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, right. my uh, so my buddy he, he goes to uh, uh, the University of Arkansas here, here locally. He's from Florida. He's been collecting Funkos since it came out, and. When I, when I say this guy has everything, thing, he's been to San Diego Comic Con every every year for the last like I think. Damn. Well, anyway, he, this he, is collected. I did the value on it. On it. I did a little bit. Like one one of my thumbnails is like his his collection, and his collection is like fifty thousand dollars in like ten bucks. That's sick. I call those people sellouts. They ain't sellouts. Every every twenty five hundred to three thousand pop in his in his collection. It's crazy. Damn, that's sick. He has, and then he has he has proto proto like protos of like the Biggie Pop and like the Flavor Flav. What's his Instagram? Uh, I don't I, I don't know. up his Instagram Instagram. He's on you probably no no or seen him. He's one of the, like the top collectors in the world. Well, cause I always see the YouTube guy. I see the guy on Instagram. It always says like his Biggie protos just got up. Uh, someone just asked, what made Danny start doing YouTube? Uh. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I've actually done. I've had multiple YouTube channels in the past. He's doing. I makeup. had a channel back in the day. Um, back in the day, it was like 2013. And then I had I had a magic channel. So when I was a kid, kid grew up, I was doing magic trick trick. I actually still have a magic channel, and I have posted on them in like 10 years when YouTube first started back in like like 2006 or 2007. So YouTube hasn't been been like new thing for me, but but for my collection, my toys, it's new in the last nine months. I wanted wanted to share my collection, and I think it's cool. Like I follow follow Josh Penn, Cincy Nerd. I I follow Cleta. I follow all of Data Patrol. Um, all these guys, guys, and I think it's what they're doing. I mean, I'm always usually interested in like what they have to display and checking out their collection and what they kind of like, you know, like and think is is cool. I, I relate a lot, a lot of that so. I wanted to share just the same. I thought I thought I had something to offer before because I think take a different appro approach with most, uh, um, and and make it make it fun for people. so so. I got into it again, but YouTube's not new to me. Uh, my Magic Channel, surprisingly enough, it has like hundreds of thousands of views on certain videos. <laughs> and what a nerd! Ad, this is before the AdSense time, so I've made zero dollars for any of those videos. Yeah. So I'm actually out of that account. That sucks. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. I was gonna take work over that account. They won't let me. But uh, <laughs> now, but it's funny because what you mentioned was you see all these other guys and you see yourself unboxing. And honestly, you can do it. Like it's not like something. Wow, that guy's doing something so crazy. Oh, I'll never be able to post a video like him. Hell no. This shit is so easy. I just yeah. need a little confidence and help me build confidence and help me be able to speak better in uh going to like press conferences and yeah. I don't just I say whatever the flock I want but at least that makes sense sometimes <laughs> and I, I know I can always save myself on the back end because of this yeah, yeah. so I, I, I see like I like I I towards more like sli slightly cares people um, their personalities that's that's kind of what I for you know you know like for individuals individual certain you know certainly like like yourself that stand out to me to me that's that's like a normal average Joe kind kind of person. Yeah, I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and that's why I'm. A yeah, we. Yeah, I can see why you know the uh, the high value stuff, right? The high value stuff. The cons. Yep. I, I, by the way, you played sports a little bit, right? You said you played football. Put that in with the sports, buying high valuable stuff, and then add in the the whole completion. I need to buy them all in the first month, or yep. I failed my life. I suck. So I can see why that's uh, exciting for you to be a part. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. And uh, you're at the same age as me. You know, we're just like, I, I don't have no friends to go show this shit to. Who am I going to show this to? Yeah, my friends, like, like his buddies. They are got not kids. Going. They got families. Yeah. 
that, that's the other reason for YouTube. I, I, I didn't really put that in there, but, but like my best buddies, like like all my people, they're, they're not into this, you know? So, so I'm sharing this with the community. I'm hopefully building a community, building friends like we right. did. You know, that, that we can shit and talk about, talk about boys and, and schools and, and everything, everything's cool. You know? Yeah, I got a message from most of you guys on Instagram. I'm like, fuck yes. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. I yeah. got a message from like my brother. I'm like, shit, man, I gotta respond to this motherfucker. Yeah. Cause they, they don't wanna talk about shit that I wanna talk about. You guys wanna talk shit that I wanna talk about. And I don't usually know if it's a good post or something live went up. Um, one question I got is you got the NECA turtles? Where's your NECA turtles? Where are your NECA set up at? They're they're not here right now. I do have them. Just boxed up, but they're in one of the books. Which one? All of them or just the uh I only only collected uh, GameStop stop exclusive. So, so when NECA was dropping those for three straight days, and it was the whole pack, the SDCC pack. Yeah. I missed out every every day that it went live. I got it. Myself for forever on that. So. I got yeah. it, and then I got a set from my brother. It's it's for. I bought him for his Christmas present. That's how much. Oh, that's yeah, how pumped that. it is. I bought two sets. I bought two sets, and then uh, I just sold the other set. So. Yeah, they're going for like two hundred plus right now. Yeah, yeah, holy, yeah! I just sold the the whole set for one one seven. So I that's a deal. Right. Yeah, it's a deal. And you made uh, they were like hundred bucks for the set, which is nice. Yeah. Well, and then, no, I, uh, I used a coupon. I got uh, I, I think it was fifteen dollars off a hundred hundred dollar purchase. Oh yeah, I think it was free shipping with that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, well, I got the customer customer stuff because they tried to charge me some some kind of shipping and they gave me like like. Ten percent off and offers like that. So my second set was a deal, and then I sold that set. So. Okay. Uh, I, good. I pre-ordered them. Uh, Josh Pence actually inboxed me. Josh Pence is like, "Oh, he's on pre-order." I said, "What?" Oh, yeah, I pre-ordered yeah. those back in November. I never waited so long for like oh, figures. Yeah. I think I got mine. I want to say I would pre-order on November or October. But yeah, I was one of, one of the first people, and then I was, I was one of the first people that ordered at, at my game stuff. I'm friends with the managers. There, okay. So. Yeah, I ordered mine online. I got no notification. I was freaking out. My buddy Adam Mark was in there, helped me out. Like I'm like, I'm fucked. I fucked up, man. I'm not gonna get them. I'm gonna. Can you sell me yours in retail? Yeah, I want to maybe go after the other ones, but again, I'm gonna stay to some things right now. RJ comes in. My friends don't care about my addiction. Yeah, ain't, <laughs> ain't no one really care about this shit. Uh, oh. My doctor friend is Drake Half, if you know who that is. That is Drake Half. Mm. He's young. He's younger. He's younger than us. He's okay. 20. He, he, I think he was sneakerhead before this, so you what was up? Ah. So, like, you know, my friends don't care. See, Punky over there, she be busting my chop buying all these damn figures. And, you know, busting my chop buying all these figures, right? And then all of a sudden, all of a, sudden I sell at a really high profit. She goes, oh, thanks. I want a goddamn award. I want there to be cheering as if there's a circus coming to town for after telling me I can't believe you're buying this kind of thing. Oh my god, you got another box? Cletus, she's calm down. I gotta hear that. But when I sold the mother flocker for five times the value, I didn't get no goddamn circus. Why is that, Punky? <laughs> she can write in the chat. You get ice cream. I get ice cream. <laughs> Mine wants to go on like a date, like a really nice dinner. You know, she's expecting seeing something in it, so. Yeah, she's expecting, she, you go sell the figures, and she wants you to go buy her something. Oh, yeah. I guess that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she, she let me, she, she let me have it in the first place, you know. <laughs> right, right, that makes sense. I guess I get ice cream. But um, I, I guess we'll finish up the screen, uh, stream. Uh, check out Danny's. YouTube channel. Um, let me go see if I grab it real quick. I'll throw it in both chats right here. Good thing is it doesn't post too much content, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the only thing that sucks about not posting content for YouTubers out there is if you miss that person and you don't watch his videos for like three days, the algorithm will, you'll just never, you'll think Danny never posted a video ever again. I know FM McGinnis, you know, he missed like a few days. His videos never popped up on my news feed ever again. Ever again. I thought he stopped making YouTube videos because I missed a few days of watching him. So it, that's another big thing about posting so frequently. Um, I'm putting the FM McGinnis in. But think about that. 
Danny Kill Endure. Yeah, so think about that, boys. Think about that. Boom, copy that. 264 mother flockers. Oh, RJ's even faster than me. Thank you, buddy. Post the links for his YouTube. Okay, I will. Uh, you can check him out, Danny Killinger, as well on Twitter. And we're probably going to see him again. Um, you said you go to the cons or no? Uh, so I'm going to try try to. I'll try and go out to San Diego. And then I've got a friend that, that uh, like, he lives in Manhattan. He's a manager of a mayor of America there. So I'm going to try and get that get that hotel hook up and hook up and those uh, New York Comic Con cons tickets. Yeah, I'll be at New York Comic Con. I'll be at San Diego Comic Con as well. Um, you gotta buy those tickets, obviously, third market for the San Diego Comic Con ones. Do not post that shit on you on YouTube because they will ban your ass, and then they will have to give you ones. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I did that last year, and they had a, they gave me them. Like the president of Reed Pop inboxed me on Twitter and said, "Hey, I have stuff for you." I'm like, "Damn, thank you so much." That's yeah. Like that's fucking that that was ridiculous that's but, but yeah no, i'm gonna try I'm gonna try to uh my girlfriend's parents parents being in uh, los angeles angeles the easiest for us to go out there so she's, she's been interested in actually going to that for a long time so how so far from yeah. la is san diego comic-con san diego comic-con yeah so how far is it la to the con uh san diego diego is far. how it's far an hour. hour yeah hour man you can, you can go, Get to the I go to frankenstein's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm already, I'm already thinking, thinking what you're thinking. Yeah, so, so you can go to Frank Sons at least, at least on that Wednesday, Saturday. They're always open Wednesday to Saturday days, right, right now. Wednesday to Saturdays. Yep. I can. Well, I didn't get preview night. Uh, I don't know if I. Uh, I probably go there like on a. On a uh, I don't know. I will probably go there on day to fun days. Because fun days is like. <laughs> flock. I'm, I'm ready strategizing. At the con, the con war at Frank Sons. Sons. That's how fast they are. Like the uh, group that I told you, like they go with, with at least twenty to thirty people. It's like an army, and they're collecting every single collect up there. Yeah. San Diego Comic Con, you know the Funko thing. I'm good at. Uh, this year I got to do all the SH figure art shit and the uh, NECA yeah. stuff. You know I got to work my ass over there. I gotta. I can't hit them up with the hey. I do my Funko shit. I've been in the Funko movie. <laughs> I get the flock out of here, you loser. Uh, oh, RJ will be at my boy. Uh, at New York Comic Con, I gotta be more consistent. I think all you motherfuckers be more consistent. I I, I post videos every single day. I would. Right. I'm trying to do a video for each thing I do. So I bought a hot toy. People don't notice. I bought a hot toy, right? Once I start doing my reviews, I'm doing an unboxing video, and then I'm gonna do a little video of me talking about the figure. Then I'm gonna do the best articulation for the figure. Then I'm gonna do five things I hate about the figure. Then I'm gonna do five best poses for the figure. Five best things I like about the figure. I'm getting my money's worth on these flocking figures. Yeah, I don't have right. to buy another figure for the rest of the year for me to do videos and reviews on that one figure. They'd be like, we are sick of seeing 2018 Captain America. I'll be like, wait, well, I got one more. <laughs> Which ways you should not pose Captain America? Like, <laughs> that's funny. Manically. Love Draco. Uh, but let's finish this off. Thank you for coming. We'll see you here next time. Thank you all for coming in. RJ, Lady Draco, Joan, you guys are awesome. Drew Stan, my boy Danny. See you in yeah. the next one. I'm out. See you guys.